Circuit Judge Anita Harold Ashley, and I'm proud to sponsor this ad supporting the Roan County Raiders. I've spent a lot of time participating in sporting events in my lifetime as a player, a Raider parent, and a fan. I've observed there are lots of ways people enjoy the games. It might be like my dad, who quietly studied the game to catch stats, or my dear mom, who gained a reputation for yelling at the refs. Or the fan may be there primarily to enjoy the band or the cheerleaders. But it's clear, we're all rooting for the Raiders. Let's win. Paid for by the Committee to Re-Elect Judge Anita Harold Ashley, Kate J. Burbank, Treasurer. Hi, I'm Ben Ashley of Ashley Insurance, where we're building a community of great insurance products and great people. What does that mean? Well, as a client of ours, you'll enjoy perks like quick quotes and personalized policies. We shop for the best prices across multiple companies. And most importantly, if something bad happens, you call our team and speak directly with us. So join our insurance community today. Call 304-927-2175 or visit ashleyinsurers.com. You work hard for your money, and lately the cost of everything has soared, making some of those dreams and goals even harder to reach. And at Board Depew Realty, we realize that. We understand that buying a house can be financially stressful, especially with all the hurdles lenders require. That's where we come in. With our small staff of four, we offer you over 100 years of combined experience. We work as a group to get you close and in your home quickly. We'll find creative ways when others may have given up to make your dream a reality. But most importantly, we remain your friend after the sale is complete. We'll continue to help you long after the deal is closed. And that is what we take pride in. It's more than just a job to us at Board Depew Realty. It's a job that we love, and we love the people who allow us into their lives. Buying or selling a home can be stressful, but not if you let Board Depew guide you. You work hard for your money, and how you... Ford DePew Realty, serving you since 1958, 304-927-3250. Once again, this message comes to you courtesy of Brandon Dental Associates, located on Hospital Drive in Spencer, West Virginia. Traditionally, February is known as Children's Dental Health Month, and the focus is the prevention of dental disease in children of all ages. Good oral health begins at home through daily brushing, proper nutrition, and regular professional preventive dental care. Your baby's first dental visit should be no later than age one. Call Brandon Dental at 304-927-2775 to schedule your child's preventive care visit. That's Brandon Dental, 304-927-2775. Calhoun Banks is your hometown bank. We've been serving Calhoun and the surrounding areas for over 120 years. We offer many financial and banking services, including commercial, online and mobile banking, mobile wallet, our annual Deals on Wheels loan sale, home and construction loans, and we specialize in land-only loans. With offices in Grantsville, Arnoldsburg, Elizabeth, and Glenville, we are ready to serve the needs of all of our communities. Stop in and see us at one of our four locations today. Visit our website at CalhounBanks.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at CalhounBanksWV. Lobby hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Friday lobby hours are 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturdays, our drive through is open 8.30 a.m. to noon. Equal Opportunity Lender, member FDIC. Carpenter's General Store in Spencer has been saving you money and giving you the best selection in Roan County since 1996. We have an amazing selection of domestic, import, and craft beers, ciders, and wines at the absolute lowest prices anywhere. And if we don't have it, we'll get it for you. We have a sporting goods section with all the right fishing gear, locally crafted lures, and live bait. And we also carry a great selection of firearms and ammunition. And once again, if we don't have it, we'll get it for you with the lowest prices guaranteed. We're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So come see us at 746 Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer. It's a convenience store with a whole lot more. Stop by Spencer Cash Saver to check out our fresh produce, quality meats, and our new grab-and-go deli sliced meats and cheeses. New two-week ads start every other Thursday with the best prices for your budget. 
save money, and shop local at Spencer Cash Saver. Stop by D&D Motors for great deals on used cars. We have an incredibly diverse and continuously growing inventory to choose from with many makes and models at price points that anyone can afford. d and Service Department also offers oil changes, tire rotations, and other maintenance on your new purchase. Call D&D for your next service appointment. d and Motors, located at 276 East Main Street in Spencer. Stop in and see Dan or Donna for your super deal today. Open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to noon, and closed on Sunday. D&D Motors, call 304-519-2157. Since 2019, DW Excavating has been serving Roan and surrounding counties. We offer services including, but not limited to, repairing driveways, construction site preparation, drainage solutions, property brush clearing, farm road construction, culvert repair and installation, and utility line installation and repair. We provide free estimates. Check out our Facebook page or contact us at 304-532-2968 for more information. DW Excavating, taking pride in our work and in our community. DW Excavating is a proud supporter of all Roan County High School athletics. Go Raiders! This is Lady Raider Volleyball and Softball player Mahaley Nicholson for Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Since 2016, ECI has provided West Virginia with top-notch service for both home and commercial needs. We pride ourselves on working closely with our clients to ensure that projects are completed in a timely manner, that customer expectations are met, or in many cases exceeded. Regardless of the job size, we have solutions for everyone. We specialize in septic systems, brush removal, dirt work, asbestos removal, and more. Check us out on the web at www.ecivv.net or contact us for a quote at 304-532-7653. Fax number 304-532-7653. Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Ed Nicholson, owner, West Virginia Contractors License 055775. This is Ashton Rhodes, Chronic Care Manager at Roan County Family Healthcare. Are you struggling to control your blood pressure, lower your A1C, or manage other chronic health conditions? Do you ever feel overwhelmed or unsure after an office visit and need some extra help? If that's you, we can help. Roan County Family Healthcare is now providing chronic care management services for qualifying patients. By enrolling in our services, you will receive one-on-one -on -one consultations, an individualized comprehensive care plan, education, monthly check-ins, and more. All of this will allow you access to your care team easily for questions, concerns, or follow-up. So are you ready to team up and find a healthier version of you? Give me a call at 304-927-8139. My office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Let me help you manage your chronic conditions. Roan County Family Healthcare, healthcare for the entire family. Rhodes Auto Service in beautiful downtown Arnoldsburg, West Virginia is a full service auto center providing you with AC, front end and four wheel alignment, tires, exhaust systems to basic oil changes and state inspections and full electrical diagnostic service. Our highly trained technicians with over 40 years of experience between them, Groves Auto Service in Arnoldsburg, West Virginia. 304-655-6765. And be sure to check out our Facebook page. Hi folks, here at Hardman's, we are a full service building material and hardware store. We have it all from nuts and bolts, the plumbing, electrical, best look paint, lumber, drywall, furniture, appliances, flooring, and kitchen and bath. Our best look paint is a sure win. Brighten up your interior walls or spruce up your exterior. We don't just sell the products, but we deliver and install many of them as well. All of our installers are trained and certified. On top of all that, we know a little something about customer service. We'll greet you with a smile and have the knowledge to help you get the job done right. Stop in and let's tackle your next project together. Hardments, our family serving yours since 1907. 
Builder Supply on Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer is the place to shop for the best selection of cold weather gear. And right now, Hildress is excited to announce 50% off all Carhartt and Cat clothing. Offer good throughout the month of January. Carhartt bibs in most sizes starting at just $90 and many different styles of sweatshirts starting at only $40. We have a wide selection of boots including Rocky, Wolverine, and Georgia boots, steel-toed and non-steel-toed as low as $78. Visit us on the web at hildresupply.com. Check out our Facebook page at Hildreth Oil Field Supply or stop by and see us at the store located on Route 33 in Spencer. Hildreth Supply, a hometown store with hometown ownership and proud supporter of all Roan County athletes. It's that time of year, money back from Uncle Sam, to so make every dollar count and take the short drive to Honest Fred's Flooring. We have three locations, Spencer, Parkersburg, and Marietta. You'll find our showrooms fully stocked with the latest trends in flooring, carpet, vinyl, hardwood, ceramic tile, and the very popular luxury vinyl flooring. We install everything we sell and financing is available. So come see us at one of our convenient locations or check us out on the web at honestfred.com. I was looking at this list of pre-owned markdowns at Jack Garrett Ford. It's unreal. I mean, thousands of dollars in savings. There must be a couple of dozen on the lot right now. Look, there's no way I can list them all in a 30-second commercial. But go to JackGarrettFord.com and see for yourself. Or better yet, visit Jack Garrett Ford, Ripley Road, Spencer. Better make it fast, though. They won't last long. When you find yourself faced with a legal issue, the steps you take next can literally impact the rest of your life. Hiring the right attorney is one of the most important decisions you'll make. At Joel Baker Law Office, we understand the importance of providing prompt, competent, and honest legal representation. Call or text our office today to schedule a consultation, 304-500-9238. As someone who played high school sports, I was able to learn the importance of hard work and being dedicated to your job. And these lessons are why it is important that we support high school athletes. I have continued to apply these lessons to my career as a prosecuting attorney for the last 15 years. And they are the same lessons, hard work and dedication that I will use every day as a circuit judge. In 2024, vote Josh Downey or circuit judge in Division Three, Paid for by the committee to elect Josh Dem, Aaron M. Nichols, treasurer. Hey, are you serious? I like a good laugh. I bet you do too. Which is why I say, if all those insurance companies want to spend a gazillion dollars on funny TV ads, go right ahead. As long as it's not my money that's paying for it. Here's how you get seriously good auto, home, business, or life insurance. Go to Erie Insurance. With Erie, a great price is just the start. You get unbelievable service, independent agents you can really trust, and superior products like Erie Rate Lock. You hear that? Rate Lock. Name says it all. For car insurance, it can't be beat. But hey, don't just take it from me. See for yourself why more than 90% of Erie customers stay with them year after year after year. Seriously. Your Erie Insurance Agent in Spencer is the Kirby Insurance Agency. Get a quote at 927-2544. That's 927-2544. Or visit kirbyinsurance.com. Hungry? There's only one place to go to satisfy a hunger that big any time of the day or night. McDonald's in Spencer. Choose from the famous Big Mac quarter pounder with cheese, add fries and sweet tea, and you've got a meal that can't be beat. Start your day off right with the best breakfast in town, McDonald's and Spencer. Egg McMuffin, sausage egg and cheese biscuit, hot cakes, sausage burrito, add a cup of premium coffee and a hash brown, great prices every day, McDonald's and Spencer. I'm loving it and so will you. Macintosh Hardware, Furniture, and Appliance, the store that has it all. From quality furniture, Lazy Boy, Serta, Catnapper, Appliances, Maytag, Whirlpool, Amana, KitchenAid. And Macintosh offers setup and removal. Power Equipment, Echo, Troy Built, 
and in-house service. Hardware, tools, paint, plumbing, electrical, pipes, and fittings. McIntosh Hardware and Appliance, 204 Market Street in Spencer, 304-927-2700. Find us on Facebook for more great deals. Hey guys, this is Shannon from Miller Steels and Deals. We have all your shopping needs from the bedroom to the kitchen, bathroom, and laundry room. We've got you covered. Looking for furniture or even maybe a gift card? Come on by Miller Steels and Deals on Mount Zion Ridge in the Old Armory Building. Monday through Saturday, 9 to 5, for the best prices around. Give us a call, 304-804-6006. Mini Hamilton is excited to announce the opening of our Women and Maternal Care Services in Glenville. I'm Corey Grog. I'm a women's health and family nurse practitioner with Mini Hamilton Health System. We offer childbirth education classes and breastfeeding and postpartum support. Along with pre- and postnatal care, our team sees patients from birth throughout the lifespan. We are your partner in health today, tomorrow, and for life. Please call the Glenville office for more information at 304-462-7322. Health system, better For the next few seconds, picture yourself retired. What do you see? What sounds do you hear? How do you feel? However you picture your retirement, planning early is the best way to make it happen. And State Farm Agent Norman L. Daniels is here in Spencer to help. He can chat with you about the kind of retirement that you want and then help you find the best ways to save for it. A little today can add up to a lot tomorrow. So get started now. Call State Farm Agent Norman L. Daniels in Spencer at 304-927-5680 and picture yourself happy. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Time has just changed. Are you ready for a change? Old Fences Realty can help with that. I'm Mike Greenlee, the broker, and I've helped thousands of people make a change in latitude. If you're thinking about selling, just give our office a call and one of our professional, friendly agents will be there right away. We don't just put it on Facebook and hope it sells. We use technology to reach all over the world. We have well-qualified buyers waiting for your home. Old Fences Realty can even help find you a great agent wherever you're moving. So call us right away. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to WVRC 104.7 FM's live streaming coverage of Roan County High School Raider baseball action. We welcome you from the beautiful Shawnee Sports Complex in Charleston, West Virginia, as we prepare for a single game contest here on YouTube and Facebook between the Roan County Raiders coming in at 2 and 4 on the early portion of their season. Their opponent, one of the better teams in the state of West Virginia in the Charleston Catholic Irish, undefeated at 6-0 coming in to this contest. Roan County coming off a tough loss most recently or last week against Ravenswood on the road, 13-2. Roan County does have wins this year over Webster County, 9-3, and a comeback walk-off winner against Doddridge County with a Carter Kinder Bottom of the seventh inning, two-run home run to win Roan County's second game of the season. Meanwhile, Charleston Catholic, offensive-minded this year, 
With their six victories, they have only scored fewer than 10 runs in two ball games. How about these stats? 22, point, 22 runs, 12 runs, 11, 10, 9, and 7 for the Irish this season. So a David versus Goliath kind of contest getting set to go here from the facility alongside the rest of our crew. Our buddy Swoby here with the graphics and the OBS software. My color analyst is Cole Ellis. I'm Andrew Miller. Glad you guys could be with us for this single game action. Well, Cole, you've played enough against very good teams to know that anything can happen in baseball, but it's not just a wish. You're going to have to play extremely well here today. Roan Kenny's going to throw Noah Jett here today, and they're going to have to get things working offensively, and they're going to have to play really strong defense, I think, behind uh, their pitcher tonight. Yeah, defensively, you're just going to have to try and pitch a ground ball and try and get the outs, you know, not try and hang it over the plate. And at the when you're playing offense and you're at the plate, you're just going to have to swing at strikes. You're going to have to get, have a good eye, good eye at the plate, and do your best to put the ball on the ground. You've got to create a play. We're not quite sure if this game would take place. Now, we do have a turf facility here, which is extra nice, but we know that there has been some really bad weather roaming around West Virginia today, though. It has stayed away from the facility. I know later in the week they are calling for possible some snow. That's on the Thursday-Friday aspect of it. Roan County's got a big week this week. They'll follow this game on the road tomorrow up at South Harrison High School. They will host Ritchie County on Wednesday. Thursday, they'll be back at Calhoun County High School, and they'll round out their week on Sat or Friday night with St. Mary's in that contest. Take a look at the starting lineups for both squads. First off, four. The home team in the Charleston Catholic Irish. Luke Blades will lead it off. He'll be playing second base. Connor Jarvis batting second, playing left field. Jonah DeCoco batting third at shortstop. The cleanup hitter is the catcher, Zayden Ranson. Batting fifth is Jeff Reynolds. He'll be at third base. Batting sixth out in center field, Gage Tawney. Batting seventh and on the bump today will be Xander Alera. Batting eighth, Tyler Brown. He'll be the first baseman. DH hitting ninth is Vincent Scalzo. He'll hit in the lineup for the right fielder, Joseph Brammer. For Rome County, getting the start at the center field position once again. Leading off is Carter Kinder. He is on an absolute tear right now on the offensive side. Batting second and catching today will be Cam Cumston. Batting third, the shortstop is Cam Ash. Cleanup hitter is Noah Jett. And again, he will get the start on the hill today for the Raiders. Preston Green bats fifth. He'll play his normal second base, second base position. Batting sixth over at third for the first time, Jacob Greathouse. Batting seventh out in right field, Jeb Painter. Batting eighth is the designated hitter, Carson Casto. He'll hit in the lineup for the first baseman, Nate Martin. And rounding out the lineup for Rome County is the left fielder, Gage Saunders, batting ninth. We will break away for our sponsors when we return. First pitch action here from the Shawnee Sports Complex in Charleston, West Virginia, Rome County, and Charleston Catholic ready to square off after these messages. Want to look good and feel good? And stop by and see John Penna at Penna's Barbershop in Spencer on Main Street. Want a guaranteed spot? You can set up an appointment, but if time is not an option, walk-ins are always welcome. Traditional haircuts, no problem. Tapers, high and tight, flat tops, and beard trims. Or if you're looking for something new, he can do that too. Custom designs, burst fades, and mullets. That's right, West Virginia Waterfall. Keeping you styling and profiling. Penis Barbershop has been a proud supporter of Roan County and Raider Athletics since 2009. Penis Barbershop on Main Street and Spencer. Stop in, call, or text at 304-531-4218. Visit Phoenix Nutrition at 225 Main Street in Spencer. Try our awesome drinks. It'll only take one sip to find out what we're all about. We offer loaded teas to jumpstart your day. All of our teas are sugar-free with just 24 calories. We have such a wide variety of combinations, you may never try the same drink twice. Phoenix offers protein shakes and protein coffees as well. We are open Tuesday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Saturday, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Follow us on Facebook at Phoenix Nutrition, Instagram at phoenix.nutrition.wv, and come visit us at 225 Main Street in Spencer. Proud supporter of all Roan County Raiders. 
Your bank shouldn't make you feel like you're on an assembly line. It's about you, your family, your future. That's why you're going to feel good about Polka Valley Bank. Because people have been feeling good about us for over 100 years. Bottom line, we have all the services of a big bank, but we're local. At Polka Valley Bank, our decision-making is local. Our people get to know you and call you by name. It's a relationship with a bank that you can feel good about. See us online at polkavalleybank.com. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Heart disease affects so many families in our community. That's why Roan General Hospital has made expert cardiology services readily accessible close to home. From prevention and education to state-of-the-art diagnostic testing to treatment and comprehensive rehabilitation, ask your primary care provider for a referral today. Roan General Hospital, care you can trust close to home. Ridgetop Rentals, located at 3502 Clay Road in Spencer, West Virginia, is the place to go for all your equipment needs. We have tractors, dozers, backhoes, excavators, teramites, air compressors, straw blowers, generators, jackhammers, torpedo heaters, and much more. We are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. You can check us out on the web at ridgetoprentals.machinerytrader.com, follow us on Facebook at Ridgetop Rentals, LLC, or you can call us today at 304 908 20 304-924-1418. Ridgetop Rentals is a proud supporter of all Roan County Athletics. Let's go Raiders! Spring into action with Roan Self Storage. Are you feeling overwhelmed by the clutter that winter left behind? It's time for a fresh start with spring cleaning. And where better to store your treasures than Roan Self Storage? As you refresh your home and clear out those closets, remember Roan Self Storage is here to keep your belongings safe and secure. With a variety of unit sizes and 24-7 access, you can store with confidence. Not sure where to start? Here are some spring storage ideas. Seasonal gear. Store your winter clothes, skis, and snowboards to make room for summer fun. Holiday decor. Keep your festive decorations in perfect condition for next year. Sports equipment. Make space in your garage by storing bikes, helmets, and more. Ready to make more room for spring? Call us now at 304-421-3091 or visit us at RoanSelfStorage.com and let Roan Self Storage help you clear the way for a beautiful season ahead. Come into Staff's Pharmacy where our patient's good health is our main concern. We have a drive through window where you can conveniently drop off and pick up your prescriptions and over-the-counter medications. Refill your prescriptions anytime online at www.statspharmacy.com or from your iPhone or Android phone using the Refill RX mobile app. No waiting in long lines. Just call ahead and your order will be waiting for you. We look forward to serving you at Stats Pharmacy, located at 100 East Main Street in Spencer. You can call us at 304-927-2980. My drug breaks won't work, and I can't get to work. So I call him Starcher, the best place for parts. They had what I needed, at the price out of the line. Now my truck's stopping quickly, and everything's all right. 
That's right. Willard Starters has the parts that you need and the quality sales staff to help you get it fixed. Willard Starters, the best place for parts and the best staff to help you. That's very important. Dial 927-2520. Open seven days a week. Willard Starters. I'm Circuit Judge Anita Harold Ashley, and I'm proud to sponsor this ad supporting the Roan County Raiders. I've spent a lot of time participating in sporting events in my lifetime as a player, a Raider parent, and a fan. I've observed there are lots of ways people enjoy the games. It might be like my dad, who quietly studied the game to catch stats, or my dear mom, who gained a reputation for yelling at the refs. Or the fan may be there primarily to enjoy the band or the cheerleaders. But it's clear, we're all rooting for the Raiders. Let's win. Paid for by the committee to re-elect Judge Anita Harold Ashley, Kate J. Burbank, Treasurer. Hi, I'm Ben Ashley from Ashley Insurance. Let's talk life insurance. It's not just about numbers, it's about peace of mind. Picture this, would your family be able to continue on financially if you weren't there? Life insurance can be the answer, and our team is ready to help you. We've got affordable coverage and expert guidance because your peace of mind is our priority. So don't wait for the unexpected. Call Ashley Insurance at 304-927-2175 or visit ashleyinsurers.com. You work hard for your money, and lately the cost of everything has soared, making some of those dreams and goals even harder to reach. And at Board to Pew Realty, we realize that. We understand that buying a house can be financially stressful, especially with all the hurdles lenders require. That's where we come in. With our small staff of four, we offer you over 100 years of combined experience. We work as a group to get you closed and in your home quickly. We'll find creative ways when others may have given up to make your dream a reality. But most importantly, we remain your friend after the sale is complete. We'll continue to help you long after the deal is closed. And that is what we take pride in. It's more than just a job to us at Board to Pew Realty. It's a job that we love, and we love the people who allow us into their lives. Buying or selling a home can be stressful, but not if you let Board to Pew guide you. You work hard for your money, and how you spend it matters. Hello, America. Let me... Board to Pew Realty, serving you since 1958, 304-927-3250. We welcome you back to the Shawnee Sports Complex. Top of the first inning, Roan County will be the visiting team. And to the plate first will be Carter Kinder, followed by Cam Cumston, then Cam Ash. Kinder stepping in first against the sophomore left-hander Xander Alera. And there may not be a hotter hitter on Roan County's team this season than Kinder going back to the two outs, two run home run to walk it off on last Saturday against Doddridge County. Followed that against Ravenswood with a couple of doubles, three stolen bases, and two runs scored. We are underway as Alara starting Kinder off with a pair of breaking pitches, one in, one out, side of the zone. And I'll tell you what, Drew, Kinder has been just astonishing these last couple games. Turns on this one, rips it foul down the third baseline. One and two the count to Kinder. And this will be our first chance to see Noah Jett on the mound. Not his first outing, but our first opportunity to take a look at him this year. Junior right-hander. Alara, a little bit of labored wind-up motion here. Lots of breaking pitches, and he's got Kinder down on that one. Beautiful location. It was a beautiful location starting off the first batter of the game. Yeah, and this Irish team is the real deal, folks. Undefeated and putting up massive numbers offensively, keeping the defense working well. They've given up 6-5, 4-3-1 in games. Cam Cumston now catching here today. First pitch from Alara missing away in the zone. This is a long backstop, Cole. Wild pitches could become an issue. Turned on, ripped towards third. 
Fielded cleanly by Jeff Reynolds and across the diamond for out number two. You were talking about that long backstop. You know, normally, usually you see catchers there, power hitters and a little slow, but I got the catcher's going to have some wheels today. <laughs> Cam Ash will step to the plate. This first one poked foul down the first base side. Alera just like the way his motion is, Cole. Not a lot of wasted movements, nice and smooth. He's real nice and smooth. He likes to hide that ball, too. You know, pitchers, they want to hide that ball until at the last moment. So the Fastball up the middle and taken back up the middle. And Rome County has the first base hit of the game. It's always good your first A-B, you get a hit. I mean, it just sparks a good good game for you starting off the game one and one at the plate that will bring up the pitcher here today in noah jet he is also i mentioned carter kinder but jet has been an rbi machine early this season that's your job as the four hole hitter the cleanup hitter is your job is to bring in those rbis uh oh alara makes the move to first and he has got ash dead to rights Ash got off the bag, did not see the leg go straight sideways at Drone County. Base running error to finish off the top of the inning. It'll be Noah Jett back to the plate in the top of the second. No score here after a half inning. Once again, this message comes to you courtesy of Brandon Dental Associates, located on Hospital Drive in Spencer, West Virginia. Traditionally, February is known as Children's Dental Health Month, and the focus is the prevention of dental disease in children of all ages. Good oral health begins at home through daily brushing, proper nutrition, and regular professional preventive dental care. Your baby's first dental visit should be no later than age one. Call Brandon Dental at 304-927-2775 to schedule your child's preventive care visit. That's Brandon Dental, 304-927-2775. Calhoun Banks is your hometown bank. We've been serving Calhoun and the surrounding areas for over 120 years. We offer many financial and banking services, including commercial, online and mobile banking, mobile wallet, our annual Deals on Wheels loan sale, home and construction loans, and we specialize in land-only loans. With offices in Grantsville, Arnoldsburg, Elizabeth, and Glenville, we are ready to serve the needs of all of our communities. Stop in and see us at one of our four locations today. Visit our website at CalhounBanks.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at CalhounBanksWV. Lobby hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Friday lobby hours are 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturdays, our drive through is open 8.30 a.m. to noon. Equal Opportunity Lender, member FDIC. Rome County down to the half inning. They did have a base runner for a small second. No hits, or sorry, no runs, one hit. No errors and no one left on base as after Cam Ash ripped a single, got picked off of the bag and into a short rundown before being tagged out at second. Jet was at the plate during that play, so Noah Jet will lead Roan County off in the top of the second inning for Roan County offensively. Defensively, it is Jet on the bump today. Cam Cumston is his battery mate behind home plate. Nate Martin over at first base, Preston Green at second. Shortstop is Cam Ash. Third baseman is Jacob Greathouse. Gage Saunders out in left center field is Carter Kinder and Jeb Painter over in right field. That was one of those things as a cleanup hitter that I had a problem with. Is it was always in the important situations. I, runner got out or I was on deck. Had to come up and start the inning off. One, two, three, do up for the Irish here in the bottom of the first. It'll be Luke Blades, Connor Jarvis, and Jonah DeCoco. Blades digging in from the left side of the batter's box. And again, our first opportunity here to watch Jets. First pitch launched into the stratosphere. Kinder took a couple steps back coming in and one pitch, one out. That is efficiency. That is very efficient. If we could get the perfect inning. Three pitches, three outs. That'd be a great start to the game here. Well, we talked about Alara with his no-wasted motion, slow delivery. That's exactly from the right-handed side 
of what Jet does. He's a, a very slow delivery, not a lot of wasted movement, just really smooth. First pitch to Connor Jarvis, the left fielder, missing low. Yeah, it's early on in this game. Our pitchers are still warming up a little bit, so we'll see how this start goes. Jet throws three-quarter to sidearm. He'll go back and forth with that. Nice movement on that fastball, breaking back in on the outside corner for strike one. It's like I said earlier, if you just pitch a ground ball and throw strikes, make the infield make a play. Looking on that outside corner, missing wide, two and one. A little overcast right now from this facility just off of the interstate. Just an amazing place. Not just baseball and softball, but football, soccer. This one popped up back out of play. And the count now even at two and two. Yeah, this is a beautiful complex. Beautiful. Jarvis close to the front of the plate. 2-2 two -two pitch back to center field. Kinder moving back, moving back all the way to the warning track. And that is going to one hop to the top of the fence. That ball continued to carry with the wind. Got into the jet stream, Cole. That's the problem with this overcast and this April 1st weather. The wind likes to shift. As an outfielder, you need to... Of course, I'd say you pick up some grass and test the wind, but it's all artificial turf, so I yeah. might have to pick up the uh, the uh, rubber. Kinder already playing quite deep center field. He moves back even a couple more steps here with the shortstop, DeCoco. Runner in scoring position in the bottom of the first for the Irish. You got the American and state flag in the background just flying towards center field right now. Wind is heavy. Want to know the count to to Coco. Jet fires high and tight this time. Count two and zero. Oh. Try and come back here with a strike. That's a dangerous thing, wanting to get it into the strike zone, but not leaving one right over the meat of the plate. Jet staying upstairs now behind in the count. Three and zero. The cleanup hitter is Zayden Ranson, and he is ready to go in the on-deck circle. Technically, he's not in the circle. <laughs> he's right beside it. 3-0 pitch. Nice location on the outside corner. That was a pretty pitch, pretty pitch. With that three-quarter to sidearm delivery, Cole, you see that ball tailing in. Yeah, you get a lot more, I believe you get a lot more spin when you throw a three-quarter. Back to that outside edge again, right in the same location. And Jets bearing down here, coming back after a 3-0 start. Full count now to DeCoco. If I was Jet right now, I'd try and change that eye location, and he did. Goes inside and a little up in the zone, and DeCoco swings and misses. Two outs now. For Rome County in the bottom half of the first. That was a beautiful pitch. A little high inside. You either walk him and get yourself a force out at all three bases or you swing, he swings and strike him out. That was a beautiful pitch. Now to bring up, though, the sophomore cleanup hitter, Zayden Ranson, just coming off of a state title in basketball. All state performance as well. And he say he's better at baseball even than he is at basketball. And if that's the case... Yikes. Dangerous. First pitch, though, he'll take a look at on the corner. 0-1 the count. Noah Jett locating pretty good. It's first inning of work here. Giving a look back to Jarvis at second. Good stop behind the plate as Cumston slides over. Again, we talked about this backstop. What you all see on the screen is about 10% of the backstop. It is another 20 feet to the netting. 1-1 one, one pitch popped up in the infield. Ash moving back, drifting back. Uh-oh, all the way back, and he will make the grab. He made it interesting, but Roan County quickly out of the bottom of the inning. To the top of the second we go, Roan County to the plate. 
Carpenter's General Store in Spencer has been saving you money and giving you the best selection in Roane County since 1996. We have an amazing selection of domestic, import, and craft beers, ciders, and wines at the absolute lowest prices anywhere. And if we don't have it, we'll get it for you. We have a sporting goods section with all the right fishing gear, locally crafted lures, and live bait. And we also carry a great selection of firearms and ammunition. And once again, if we don't have it, we'll get it for you with the lowest prices guaranteed. We're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So come see us at 746 Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer. It's a convenience store with a whole lot more. Stop by Spencer Cash Saver to check out our fresh produce, quality meats, and our new grab-and-go deli sliced meats and cheeses. New two-week ads start every other Thursday with the best prices for your budget. Save money and shop local at Spencer Cash Saver. I do want to thank our sponsors, of course, for our sports season. If you take a look at the top right corner of your screen, the logos will be flying by, and we invite you all to please go Visit our sponsors. They're why we can do what we do here on WVRC. Alongside my color analyst, Cole Ellis, I'm Andrew Miller. We've had one in the books, a pretty good quick first inning on both sides, a base hit apiece, Cole, but uh, some defensive plays to close it out with no runs. Yeah, it's like I said a few minutes ago. You just pitch a ground ball or make your make your fielders make a play, and it, it'll become a pitcher's battle. I mean, your offense need to, you know, they need to, Hit the ball. <laughs> yeah, kind of lost that's what that's I was the train of thought there, but yeah, that's the goal. Uh, no, I mean, this could probably become a pitcher battle. I mean, the wind is blowing. It is very, you, it's very hard to tell when that ball is hit high up in the air as a pop fly. And like Carter Kinder, he had a little trouble with that fly ball to the outfield. The wind just grabbed it and took it and took it and took it and Landed all the way to the warning track. And Jarvis with that lone double. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one left on. Jet back to the batter's box. Was standing at the plates when Cam Ash was picked off of the bag. First pitch, swing and a miss, so and one. And we mentioned Jet has been a an RBI machine early in the season. Very nice breaking pitch, though, thrown that time. Oh, and too quickly, Alara ahead in the count. Working quickly, and another one. Swing and a miss. Three straight pitches, and down goes Jet swinging. And it looks like Alara not an overpowering pitcher so much, but he has pinpoint control right now of these off-speed pitches. Preston Green will try to break through. A senior second baseman, and he'll chop at the first one. Yeah, Greg Maddox didn't have a lot of... A lot of mile per hour on his fastball, but my, he can he can locate. This curveball hangs up and away. One and one the count. It's funny we say that Greg Maddox didn't have a lot of speed at 88 miles an hour, but can, compared to the rest in the league, you're right. Compared to today. Swing and a miss by Green behind in the count. One and two. Time to choke up a bit and protect the plate. Boy, Lara pitching quickly. This one launched up into the sky over in very shallow territory. And look at the run by Connor Jarvis playing deep straight left field. And Cole, he came a hustling. That is something we like to yell in the dugout. Wheels. <laughs> <laughs> two up, two down in the top of the second. Jacob Greathouse over at third base. Today, again, that may have happened in games we have not been to, but this is our first opportunity seeing Jacob over at third. Lara starts him off with a fastball. This one over in foul territory. Ranson giving a look. That one just over the foul fence. I think that might have landed in that lady's cup holder. <laughs> that counts. I think she should yeah. argue with the official or the home plate umpire. Say, hey, that's out number three. Hey, we could have banana ball rules here. <laughs> if the fans catch it, it's an out. What a great, what a great fun thing that I is. Know. I Bananas. love watching banana ball. Yeah, they came here to what is now Gomart Park in Charleston just a year ago. Oh, one pitch. Again, that breaking pitch just dropping out of the zone. Oh, two, the count. Those breaking pitches, you don't need a lot of speed on them, but the rotation is where it's at. Alara rocks and fires, and two strikeouts in the inning. It's a 1-2-3, top of the second. No score here from Shawnee 
Sports Complex as the Irish coming to the plate after these messages. Tis why D and D with dynamite. D and D, will treat you right. D and D, lots of cars. D and D, will sell you cars. Come on down to D&D Motors and see Dan for your next quality used car. And for everyone who already has a used car, come and see Donna and her team of mechanics at D&D Customer Care for all your maintenance needs, from oil change to brakes and tires to alignment and everything in between. D&D, we are a full-service business that can meet all of your automotive needs. Call the dealership at 304-519-2157 or D&D Customer Care for your next appointment at 304-927-5688. Since 2019, DW Excavating has been serving Roan and surrounding counties. We offer services including, but not limited to, repairing driveways, construction site preparation, drainage solutions, property brush clearing, farm road construction, culvert repair and installation, and utility line installation and repair. We provide free estimates. Check out our Facebook page or contact us at 304-532-2968 for more information. DW Excavating, taking pride in our work and in our community. DW Excavating is a proud supporter of all Roan County High School athletics. Go Raiders! A 1-2-3, top of the second for Xander Alera and his defense. Couple of strikeouts and a great play by the left fielder Connor, Connor Jarvis in foul territory. Bottom of the inning we go. Jeff Reynolds to lead it off. The third baseman, the senior. As Noah Jett rocks and fires, missing away. Reynolds also a member of that state championship basketball team. A starter for Coach Hunter Moles. And Jett living on the outside once again, misses twice, 2-0 the count. Going to have to come back here with a strike here. He wants to stay in this count. Rocks and fires inside corner. That one trickled down the first baseline, picked up by Martin, and it just stayed fair for Rome County's defense. It's a little swinging bunt right there, right down the line. That will bring up the center fielder, Gage Tawney. Tawney, a senior. Now, Tawny is a name that uh, we in Roan County know well. A lot of Tawnies here. Yes, we do. Maybe we'll get a little more banana ball action here. <laughs> First pitch from Jets. Fastball at the eyes. 1-0 and oh the count. Needs to come back into the zone here. That one gets away high and tight. Two and O oh the count. One of the most famous Tawnies from Roan County, Coach Buzz Tawny. Coached in the early to mid 60s. This one chopped towards the shortstop. Picked up though in front and thrown across. A beautiful attempt by the third baseman. Jacob Greathouse, he just didn't get it cleanly and still almost had a play. Yeah, as a third baseman, you know, sometimes it's very hard to keep that ball in your glove. I mean, you're basically there just to knock it down, make sure it doesn't get to the outfield. You're facing these right-handed batters. It is just coming over there screaming hot. Runner aboard first with one out in the bottom of the second. And the pitcher now. Alera digging in, and he is crowding the plates, and he'll chop one again. Great house fields it across to second, not in time though. Or did they call him out? I think they did. Wow, I thought he was going to be called safe by a, a little bit of a margin, Cole, but I turned around and he was jogging off the field. What do I know? Good play there by the third baseman, Great House. That was a great play. You know, the they say that the ties go to the runner, but I think that throw beat him just by a hair. Uh, we have a runner change right here. We're going to bring in Jackson Kimball to pinch run for Alera. 
Runner on first with two outs now. Lara safe on the fielder's choice. And hitter number eight, the first baseman, Tyler Brown, digs in from the left side of the plate. You're facing these big teams. Your job is just get the ball, throw the pitch the ball, and get them to hit it on the ground and let your fielders make a play. Not sure if that was a designed hit and run, but they were sending Kimball on the first pitch. Fouled off, he'll head back to the bag at first. We got some heads over here shaking that, yes, it was a hit and run. 0-1 the count. Jet now giving a couple of extra looks to Kimball at first. They'll send him. Nope, fake on that opportunity. Healthy cut by Brown. 0-2. Oh, so we need to get a soundboard up here. That'd be nice. Have a soundboard on the radio. All you got to do is pay for it, bub. Well, we'll be okay. They will send Kimball on the 0-2 pitch. Gets inside. Thrown down from the knees. Well, you see Cumston's arm strength there, but Kimball was almost standing on the second base bag when that one got there. That was a good throw, though, Drew. Absolutely. 1-2 the count to Brown. Runner in scoring position for the second straight inning for Charleston Catholic. Wind looks like it's wanting to change directions here a little bit. Going down sidearm is Jets, and he'll clip the knee of Brown. And Brown will head to first. That's the first time we have seen Jet go full sidearm. He already has a plenty of movement on the three-quarter. Yes, he does. So those sidearm pitches could be very good for him. Unfortunately, that one got in a little bit close. Runners at first and second. Designated hitter Vincent Scalzo. You know, sometimes you just want to make those micro adjustments on the mound. First pitch, ooh, high and tight to Scalzo. Hitting in the order for the right fielder, Joseph Brammer. And this Irish team, they are hot early on, 6-0, and oh, and they have lit it up on the scoreboards. This one, chopper over towards first, fielded by Martin. He has got a hustle. Is he going to get there in time? No. Scalzo hustling down the line. Well, Martin wasn't quite sure he was running towards first. He wasn't sure if he was going to deliver the underhand throw to Green, who was heading towards second. He decided at the last minute, I'm going to get there. Yeah, that's just as a first baseman, you know, it just sometimes it's very hard to judge if your second baseman's going to be there, if the pitcher's going to be there. I mean, it's just – it's a split reaction what you're going to do. Infield single loads the bases here in the bottom of the second with two outs and back to the top of the order for the Irish. Luke Blades who lined out to center field in the first inning. Looking for the outside corner to the lefty. That one misses away. 1-0 the count. Bases Jet. loaded with two outs. Hey, hoping for a ground ball yes. here somewhere in the infield. Force out anywhere. Living on the outside, umpire shakes his head. Nope, too far. Two and zero. Umpire behind home plate. It looks like he has a pretty good strike zone tonight. 2-0 pitch, missing low that time. And there is nowhere to put blades. Base is full of green jerseyed Irish. This is the moment as a pitcher you just want to step off and give yourself a breather. 3 0 pitch down Main Street. Good fight back pitch. Blades, though, still ahead in the count 3 1. Just want to try and get this to where it'll. Get to an infielder. Couldn't do it. And that one upstairs will score the first run of the ball game. All of this again coming with two outs. Rome County will give up the first run. Well, now the, the deal is you just want to limit the damage, try to get this next out and keep it at one. So Blades with the RBI walked home the first run and Jarvis who ripped that double to straightaway center field and then turned around defensively and made a huge play in the first. 
That was a great play all the way in foul territory and the the foul sides of the field are real deep also. 1-0 pitch, ripped foul into the cage. Backstop so deep, that ball took a little, little bit to get here. We appreciate everyone tuning in, watching, sending us messages. We always like to hear from you all. Let, let us know where you're watching from, who you're rooting for. 1-1 one, one to Jarvis, looking for the outside corner, framed a little bit for Cumston, just missing. Two and one. Now well, Coach Buddy Huffman didn't like that one. <laughs> he was headed towards the home plate area and said, nope, just want to talk to my pitcher. Just want to talk to my pitcher. <laughs> I'm not going to come over there and yell. So he's going to go try to settle Jet here a little bit. And again, the situation is one run is scored off of a walk, but in, a, in your head as a pitcher, Cole, when that happens, you still have the bases loaded. You still have a force out at any base. It's got to be hard, though, to try to refocus after walking home a run. Yeah, it's just, I mean, as a pitcher, like, your job is to be calm, cool, and collective on the mound. And, you know, sometimes you just get in these jams and you just have to step back and take a breather. I mean, it's early on in the game. You're... We're only down by one run. There, that is not a lot of damage. You just you have to stay calm in these situations. Stay calm, stay focused. You're going to see some good batters though here. Well, hopefully for Chet and the defense, they see the meat of the order coming up next inning. Two one count to Jarvis with the bases loaded and two outs. This one popped up in foul territory. Comston giving chase and it goes backwards there. And I tell you that wind is wreaking havoc. On these baseballs, Cumston overran it and then just saw that thing come back towards the infield. Yeah, the catchers, when you get a pop fly right behind you, that ball has a ton of spin on it. And sometimes with the wind directing, it goes anywhere. Two and two, though, the counts. Jet battling. Comes with a 2-2 pitch, ripped down in the... Third baseline into left field. One run will score. They'll send around the runner from second. And in with the two RBI stand-up double is Connor, Connor Jarvis as Brown comes in from third. Scalzo comes in from second. And all the damage happening right now. Cole with two outs on the board. Again, though, 3-0. It's... Get back to it if you can. It is, I mean, 3-0 in the second inning. That is not a lot of damage. You know, high school ball, you got seven innings to work with as long as you're not down by 10. A uh, nice pitch coming back after that two RBI double. A lot of movement from the outside in to the pitcher DeCoco, or sorry, the shortstop DeCoco. Breaking pitch. And that one hits to Coco. I'm always interested in if it's been a rule change or if they just don't care anymore about getting out of the way or attempting to. See, I'm not real sure on that one. That I see that first batter that got <laughs> hit with the baseball. It looked like he got he leaned into it, but I'm not going to argue with that. But I did like the rule that you have to lean out. Cole, we had a situation at Doddridge County on Saturday. A young lady. The ball went inside, and she put her knee out to get hit and took the base. Did she take the base? She took the base. Oh. Base is loaded once again here in the bottom of the second, all with two outs, but the cleanup hitter, Ranson, coming to the plates. Jet was able to retire the cleanup hitter in the first pop fly over in the outfield for the shortstop, Cam Ash. First pitch, ooh, great Play behind the plate. They've got the runner off of third. Blades in a rundown, and they've got him. Got him. Or did he? Yes, he did. Oh, I looked like he may have dropped that baseball, but he was very, very crafty to keep his glove in front of it. And Roan County will get out of the inning with no more damage done. 3-0, though, after two complete innings. Roan County down, coming to the plate. 
This is Lady Raider volleyball and softball player Mahaley Nicholson for Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Since 2016, ECI has provided West Virginia with top-notch service for both home and commercial needs. We pride ourselves on working closely with our clients to ensure that projects are completed in a timely manner, that customer expectations are met, or in many cases, exceeded. Regardless of the job size, we have solutions for everyone. We specialize in septic systems, brush removal, dirt work, asbestos removal, and more. Check us out on the web at www.ecivb.net or contact us for a quote at 304-532-7653. Fax number 304-532-7653. Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Ed Nicholson, owner, West Virginia Contractors License 055775. Whether you are new to the world or you've reached your golden years, Rome County Family Healthcare is here to serve you. Hello, I'm Dr. Maria Kessel, inviting you to make an appointment at Rome County Family Healthcare. With 20 years of experience practicing medicine in our community, I made the decision to partner with Rome County Family Healthcare. I am confident that together we put the health of you and your family as our first priority. Rome County Family Healthcare is passionate about serving the families in our community. Please call 304-927-1495 for all of your primary care needs. Rome County Family Healthcare, health and wellness for the whole family. We welcome you back to the Shawnee Sports Complex, two in the books as the undefeated Charleston Catholic Irish take the lead in the bottom of the second with two hits, three runs scored, one error defensively for Roan County, and three left on base. Well, Jet did a really nice job of limiting the damage after walking home the first run, gave up the two RBI double, but a big play by the Raiders to finish it off as it was a stab behind the plate with a wild pitch opportunity. Cam Cumston, the catcher, backhanding it like he does as a middle infielder, and they got Blades off third base, got him in a quick rundown, and called out sliding in to home on the 2-5-2 putouts. So Roan County out hanging around here with this really, really good Irish team here today early. 7, 8, and 9 due up for Roan County. It'll be Jeb Painter, Carson Casto, and Gage Saunders. Lefty versus lefty here to begin. First pitch, Painter fouls it into the cage. Yeah, that's a very rare sight in high school ball around here. Lefty on lefty. I hardly ever see that in baseball, around here anyway. <laughs> Boy, look at the nastiness on that. What would you call that one, pitcher? Uh, I think there was a pot of gold at the end of that one. There was a that slurve. Was disgusting. Slider curve? Yeah, knuckle slurve curve. 1-1 one, one pitch looking on the outside, and that one misses away. Boy, Malera moving a little quicker now here in the third. Getting to the mound and firing pitches. Ooh, that one missing away. And behind in the counts, 3-1. You might be seeing these rain clouds out here. I'm going to have to stand up and do a rain dance. Comes right back on that outside corner, Painter. Throws the bat out at it, fouls it back. Full count now, three and two. We had our leadoff bat or our on deck batter, Carson Casto, racing the one of Catholic's players to get the baseball. Boy, that pitch was really good. It was a breaking pitch that dropped down near the numbers. Give Painter credit for swinging at that one, but that will be strikeout number four issued by the sophomore. Alera and the first outs recorded to Carson Casto to the batter's box. Called strike on the inside corner. Again, Rome County going to be busy this week. Raiders are on spring break. They'll take as much opportunity as they can. This one found back out of play. Oh, and two tomorrow. Rome County, they got some trips this week. Tomorrow they're at South Harrison all the way up in Lost Creek. They'll come home Wednesday to host Ritchie County, be back on the road at Calhoun on Thursday, and then they will close out with St. Mary's on Friday. Called strike three, back-to-back -back strikeouts 
for Lara and two up, two down. Gage Saunders to the plate for the first time. Pitcher throwing that nasty curveball again. Again, he is not an overpowering pitcher whatsoever. He's just smooth delivery, and he has got control of those breaking pitches, and there is so much movement on those. It's not the speed that you need. It's the rotation. 1-0 to Saunders. He'll check the swing. That one misses. A 2-0 pitch. That one finds the outside corner. Just call him Bob Ross. Do you know? Bob Ross? Yeah, the painter. Oh. 2-1 pitch. Healthy cuts by Saunders. Bob Ross, the happy painter. Happy little trees and happy little clouds. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Ring him up. As that one freezes Saunders on the outside edge. A three-up, three-down, strike-him-out inning. For Xander Alera, we move to the bottom of the third. It is Charleston Catholic 3, Roan County 0. Go ahead, car. Make my day. Do you have one of those intermittent electrical problems that no one can find? Let Groves Auto Service in Arnoldsburg, West Virginia, diagnose and fix that pesky problem for you. Call Groves Auto Service for an appointment today, and we will get to the bottom of it. Call 304-655-6765. Groves Auto Service, and don't forget to check out our Facebook page. Hi, folks. Here at Hardman's, we are a full-service building material and hardware store. We have it all, from nuts and bolts to plumbing, electrical, best look paint, lumber, drywall, furniture, appliances, flooring, and kitchen and bath. Our best look paint is a sure win to brighten up your interior walls or spruce up your exterior. We don't just sell the products, but we deliver and install many of them as well. All of our installers are trained and certified. On top of all that, we know a little something about customer service. We'll greet you with a smile and have the knowledge to help you get the job done right. Stop in and let's tackle your next project together. Hardman's, our family serving yours since 1907. Heading into the bottom of inning number three, Charleston Catholic leading Roan County, 3-0. As Xander Alera, the sophomore left-hander, strikes out the side, 1-2-3 in the top half. No hits, no runs, no errors, and no one left on. And both of these pitchers, Cole, as we said, are uh, working quite well. Just the difference was a walked batter with the bases loaded and then one base hit that scored two more. Rome County, as you mentioned, battling with a really good team here. That's what you want to see early. Develop a little confidence here. Yeah, Noah Jett, just, he's locating very well. I mean, he had that little, he struggled a little bit, had the bases loaded. Coach Huffman come out, calmed him down a little bit, and he made the out, and they went back to offense. Well, Ranson was at the plate once again when Blades was picked off and in the rundown. So it will be four, five, six, two up in the bottom of this third inning. Zayden Ranson, Jeff Reynolds, Gage Tawney to lead it off. Jet was getting ready to throw a pitch. Needs a new ball, though. Yeah, that's something, always, something you always do as a pitcher. If you don't like the baseball, don't be afraid to throw it back in and get you a new one. Ready to work now is Jet here in the bottom of the third. First pitch to Ranson, missing away, looking for that outside corner. And I like the way he's locating that. He's putting it in a place where he knows it may come back. And keeping it out there keeps it away from the meat of the plate for Ranson. Quickly 2-0. and oh. I like that Jed is staying on the outside. You know, if you want to hit him more at the cap of the bat and not with the meat of the bat. This one over the middle and wow. that one made by Ash. Diving on a web gem for Cam Ash to save a base hit. I think, I think that was... SC top 10 material right there. A tremendous play by the senior shortstop, Cam Ash, to Rob Ranson of a base hit. Stick at kid in gymnastics. One out. <laughs> that will bring up Reynolds. Noah Jett sticking to that outside corner. 
Reynolds grounded outs to Martin over at first in inning number one. Now Jet working high and tight. 2-0 to Reynolds. I like what Noah Jet's been doing. He's been pitching low outside, high inside. You want to change their eye level there. You got two strikes on you. You don't always have to throw an off speed. You just got to change that eye level. 2-0 pitch, chopped down the line, foul. 2-1 the count. Irish scheduled to be in action at Sissonville tomorrow, at Sherman the next day. And then on Saturday, James Monroe High School. Jet missing low, 3-1 and one the count. You look up and down. Catholic has not had an away game yet, but they're getting ready to have a six-game road stand. 3-1 pitch upstairs, and Jets losing Reynolds on five pitches. One out base runner in the bottom of the third. Gage Tawney, the center fielder, reached on an error in the second inning, but was forced out on the next play. No, Jets really going to have to calm down and pitch a ground ball here. Healthy lead at first for Reynolds, and he'll be checked. Ooh, dangerous throw. Nate Martin making a big play at first to keep it from getting away. Yeah, this is a deep, deep right field corner there. Well, near the dugout. If that ball gets away, I don't think anybody can back it up. They're going to send Reynolds on the very next play. Cumston's throw down, accurate, not in time. It pops off the glove. Reynolds going to head towards third. Ash had a bit of trouble pulling it off of the turf, and Reynolds ends up at third base. It's a pretty decent throw by Cam Comston behind the plate. You know, as a catcher, you want to throw that ball over to second base when the when the runner's stealing. You want to, you kind of want to get it ground level so the second baseman or shortstop doesn't have to move his glove a lot. But that just caught a little too much dirt. One and zero to Tawny. Back to that outside edge. Ooh, Cumston knows how close it is. He's framing that. It's like I said, Noah Jed is just, he is really trying to get that low outside corner. He wants it. 2 0 pitch. High heat. This one ripped into high, deep left center field. Moving over is Kinder. And he will take away the out from Gage Saunders, but that one was way deep enough, obviously, as Reynolds will trot home from third for the fourth run of the game. That was great communication on Carter Kinder's part. Left fielder Gage Saunders coming in. Carter Kinder called him off. Very good communication. That will empty the bases here in the bottom of the third with two outs and the pitcher, Xander Alera. Ready to go at it. Reached on the fielder's choice back in the second inning. Scored a run. Well, his pinch runner, Kimball, scored a run. No jet strike. A little low inside. Oh, one pitch drops out of the zone. Well, he, is, the count. he is really trying to get that outside corner. He is trying. Living on that edge. And again, if you look at Alera's feet, his toes are on the white line. He is crowding that plate. This one turned on and ripped into the gap between short and third. A two out single for the pitcher, Xander Alera. Great piece of hitting right there. You don't have to hit for power, you just got to find the gaps. Really good piece of, piece of hitting. Bring up Tyler Brown. Again, Alara will be pinch run four. Kimball, once again, will head to first. Tyler Brown, who was hit by a pitch in the second inning, ended up scoring as well. On well, that's two RBI double by Connor Jarvis. Swing and a miss at the first offering from Jet. Outfielder shifted a little to the left, a little to the right. Sorry, apologize. We're all backwards yeah, looking no. out at it. Kimball sent the throw out, and Cumston couldn't grab it in time. Not sure if that was intentional. That was way outside. Looked like it was a pitch out. 
either a pitch out or he bobbled it a little bit. Couldn't really tell. One and one the count to, as Kimball sli slides in safely to second. Runner in scoring position now with two outs here in the bottom of the third inning. 4-0, Charleston Catholic. The 1-1 sails high and away again. 2-1 and one the count. Noah Jett having a little bit of a little control issue this inning. But he is really trying to get the outside corner. And he does that time. Swing and a miss by Brown. That tail goes away from the left-handed batter. Makes it even more effective. It's a good pitch. Very good pitch. Two and two the count. Jet delivers. Chopper right back to the shortstop. Ash fields it cleanly across for out number three. Damage limited to just one run. As we played three here from the Shawnee Sports Complex, Charleston Catholic leading Roan County 4-0. Hildreth Supply on Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer is the place to shop for the best selection of cold weather gear. And right now, Hildreth is excited to announce 50% off all Carhartt and Cat clothing. Offer good throughout the month of January. Carhartt bibs in most sizes starting at just $90 and many different styles of sweatshirts starting at only $40. We have a wide selection of boots including Rocky, Wolverine, and Georgia boots, steel-toed and non-steel-toed as low as $78. Visit us on the web at HildreSupply.com. Check out our Facebook page at Hildreth Oilfield Supply or stop by and see us at the store located on Route 33 in Spencer. Hildreth Supply, a hometown store with hometown ownership and proud supporter of all. Roan County athletes. Hi, this is Lisa Simmons inviting you to join the team of savings and visit Honest Fred's Flooring at one of our three locations, Spencer, Parkersburg, or Marietta. That's where you'll find our warehouses stocked with all the latest trends in flooring, carpet, vinyl, ceramic, hardwood, or the very popular luxury vinyl flooring. We have a price to fit every budget. We offer professional installation and financing is available. So come see what you've been missing at Honest Fred's Flooring. You can also check us out on the web at honestfreds.com. We have played three from the Shawnee Sports Complex in Charleston, West Virginia. And the undefeated Irish of Charleston Catholic leading Roan County 4-0. Limiting damage, though, the defense of the Raiders. Two big plays, one in specific by Cam Ash in that last half inning. A diving stab on Ranson's line drive. One run, one hit, no errors, and one left on. To the top of the fourth and the top of the inning we go. Carter Kinder, who struck out swinging. Back to the batter's box for just the second time, and that one will clip Kinder on the front leg, and he will head quickly to first. And with Carter Kinder's wheels, he might have a stolen base or two here. Don't want to jinx it, but he is he is a phenomenal base runner. And he's a quick runner, and he's an aggressive base runner. And stole three bases in that Ravenswood loss. And he took home for both the runs for Roan County on a pass ball. Cam Cumston. And this one fired over, going to get away from Brown at first. Kender going to head to second. The question is, will he keep going? He will not. He'll stay there. But Roan County with a runner in scoring position for the first time here tonight. It's a good base running by Carter Kender. He drew that th throw over by the pitcher. And Pitcher threw it away, and he took second. So a runner in scoring position for Cam Cumpson. Again, dribbled one down towards third. Reynolds with the out. Now Lair stepping off of the back of the mound for a second. Looking to reset. First pitch to Cumpson. Dropping low and inside. The wind here, Drew, does not, doesn't know what it's wanting to do. 1-0 pitch to Cumston. That one fouled back out of play. Some more banana ball action here. Hope everybody's paying attention in the concourse area below. No fans caught it. Said it's not an out. Count one and one. Kinder staying relatively conservative at second right now. 
This one smacked against the cage again. One and two to Cumston. At the moment, Alera has given up just one base hit. That was Ash who was on deck back in the first inning before Ash got picked off. One two pitch. That one hangs away and upstairs. Two two. Compton needs be a good hitter here. Sit on fastball. Or sit on curveball, fight off fastball. 2-2 Two -two delivery. This one ripped into the gap. That's going to drop in. That's going to be extra bases for Cumston. Kinder will score easily from second. And Roan County is on the board. That was a great piece of hitting right there. Scored a runner, one RBI with a double. He was sitting on it, as you mentioned, and just got the – Bat on the ball, doesn't matter where it goes, as long as it's a gapper. So what you need to do as a hitter, Drew, if you're yeah. down on the count, sit off speed, fight off fastball. So the RBI double puts Roan Kenny on the board and Cam Ash to the plate. Again, ripped a single up the middle back in the first inning to get things started. Alara missing upstairs on that one. Cam Ash can do something for us right here. Catch a good piece of the ball. And he does. Yeah, that it's... one hit into the gap again. That one is going to get away. Ash going to head towards second. The throw coming in is not on target. And back-to-back -back RBI doubles. One from Cumston, one from Ash, and the lead is cut in half with the swing of two bats. Ash adding to his defensive prowess in the last half inning. Only down two in the fourth inning. David and Goliath story is starting to look lively here. And no one out for Rome County. As Jet has an opportunity to help his own cause here, get Rome County a little closer if he can. Boy, two great at-bats from Cumpson and Ash. Both went opposite field into that right center field gap. I think hitting opposite field is the way to go. You know, mostly in high school, they shift off to the left if you're a right-handed hitter. You just hit it to right field all day, score some runs. Rome County starting to see Alaris pitches a little bit better. That swings hard at that first offering. There's nothing wrong with swinging first pitch as long as it's a strike. A one popped up over at third. Reynolds will camp underneath it, make the grab for the first out. One time we need the wind to blow. It is steadily nothing. One out, Preston Green to the batter's box. Popped out to left field on that immaculate play in second in the second inning. Foul territory. Just very shallow over behind the third base bag area. And it was Connor Jarvis from deep left field making the play. Well, they're missing. You, that's what you call wheels right there, Drew. Absolutely. 1-0 the count. This one ripped high into the sky again. Moving in is Coco, and he will make the grab for out number two. I think our boys are starting to read this pitcher. They're putting some bats on balls right now. We cover the last two batted balls were pop-ups, but I mean, that's not a bad sign. Making yeah. some contact as Jacob Greathouse to the batter's box. Wardrobe malfunction first, he'll have to tuck. I always had that problem. There was a belt uh, problem, if I do remember. Hey, I don't want to bring that game up right now. <laughs> a certain Doddridge County game. In which Cole threw so hard his belt popped. We'll and say that broke. Yeah, we'll say that. I was just throwing heat. Now was that what it was? Oh yeah. <laughs> so Great House now ready to step into the batter's box. Still a runner in scoring position here in the top of the fourth. Raiders have cut it in half from four zero to four two. Great House struck out swinging on three straight pitches back in inning number two.
Well, Lara started him off high and away. It's not a bad waste pitch. 1-0, low and inside. Ranson stops it behind the plate. Two big catchers plays, one from Roan County, one now from Ranson behind the plate. Again, we talked about this backstop. It is a long backstop. If that ball gets away, runners are going to advance. 2-0 the count. I think it's turning into a catcher's battle. Whoever gets the first pass ball loses. This one down the middle. This one ripped high into the night sky again over in left field. And once again, right there for the grab is Connor Jarvis. Roan County, though, gets two big ones back on two RBI doubles from Cumston and Ash. And after three and a half innings, it is four to two, Charleston Catholic. Did you know that Spencer Tire and Mounting is your certified inspection station for vehicles, motorcycles, trailers, and modifieds? No appointment necessary. And for tires, Spencer Tire offers a huge selection. And with tire purchase, tires mounted and balanced free, along with free tire rotation every 5,000 miles. Spencer Tire and Mounting is the store that offers you more. Compare their prices to anyone's. Ripley Road, Spencer, next to Jack Garrett Ford. If you have been injured in an auto accident, don't wait to seek the compensation you deserve. At Joel Baker Law, we will work tirelessly to ensure you receive fair treatment and the maximum compensation possible. Contact us today for a free consultation, 304-500-9238. Your road to recovery starts here. A solid top of the fourth inning offensively for Roan County. To that point... Xander Alera had given up just one base hit, but back-to-back -back RBI doubles after Kinder was hit by a pitch and headed towards third on an error, errant throw on a pickoff attempt, or headed towards second, sorry. Cam Cumpson stepped up, went opposite field with the two-strike pitch, put it into the gap, scoring Kinder. He made it to second. The very next batter was Cam Ash, who did the exact same thing. A right center field gap shot for the RBI double. Two runs, two hits, one error, and one left on. And Roan County hanging tight here with this very, very good Charleston Catholic team. It will be 9-1-2 to the plate here in the bottom of the fourth. Scalzo, Blades, and Jarvis. Scalzo, a single in the second and a run scored. Well, if you're a pitcher in Jet, you feel a whole lot better now about what happened in the first couple of innings. Yeah, you're facing the bottom of the lineup. I mean, you know, some teams, bottom of the lineup are easy outs, but I say that lightly. But as a pitcher facing, uh, it was 8 9 1. 9 1 2. 9 1 2. Okay, sorry. So we are facing 9 and then the leadoff batter. 2-0 pitch, looking for the fastball at the knees. It was down at the ankles, 3-0 and the counts. We talk about the bottom of the order. They have three of the four runs scored in the 7-8-9 position. I need to start paying attention more. Though. Well, all that was in that second inning. Don't yeah, worry. That's right. And it all happened with the first two outs on the board. Jet trying to battle down 3-0, missing on that pitch. Scalzo, a four-pitch walk. And that is the third walk of the ball game given up by Noah Jet. Back to the top of the order, Luke Blades. Scored the first run of the game in the second with the bases loaded walk. He's going to square to Bunts. Looking over at first is Jet, and that one a little wide left. And again, Nate Martin making a big play. That was a smart move by Jet. Saw that bunt. Thought that he was going to run. That was a very smart move. Well, Coach Will Bobbinger playing some small ball, looking for a sack bunt here. Nothing wrong with some small ball. Called strike as Blades pulled the bat back. It's a little sacrifice bunt right there. Didn't show it until late. 
Great house moving in. Over at third, they'll send the runner now, and this one launched into the stratosphere. It's going to be a long play for Painter. Couldn't get there in time. They'll send Scalzo around second. The throw is going to be cut off, and now the throw gets away, but Ash able to get back to it quickly, and Scalzo will stay at third. Boy, that was a wonderfully placed dying quail. Yes, it was. As, of course, the lefty at the plate, and that made Painter play way deep, and he made a run for it. He almost had it, but, you know, you got white balls in the, uh, in the uh, light gray night sky we have here. It, it's hard to track down. You can barely see them red laces. It'll get lost really quick. Second and third with Jarvis back to the plates. All he has done is hit two doubles with an RBI. Two RBIs, I apologize. Don't want to short him one. First pitch from Jets. Again, staying on that outside corner. I like that. Just missing a little bit outside, maybe a little up. one -oh pitch. Beautiful. Jarvis laying off. Irish with runners at second and third. Nobody out, bottom of the fourth. Low pitch, kept in front by Cumston. Very good block right there. Cumston, as a fairly new catcher, I do believe he started catching last season. He has surprised all of us. I mean, he is very good behind the plate. Well, as a middle infielder, he's got quick hands, obviously. Just learning the position, though, of sliding and getting in front of things. and Sure, it is not the easiest to learn quickly. Three and one, the count. I caught some BP. I didn't like it very much. Jarvis laying the bat out there, backs it off, and looks at strike two. Good pitch by Jet. Full count. Runner on second and third. The shortstop to Coco in the on-deck circle. Here comes the payoff pitch. That one got away from Jets high and tight, and he will walk his fourth batter and second of the inning. And for the third time tonight, the base is loaded for the Irish. DeCoco was struck out in the first inning and then was hit by a pitch in inning number two. If I was Noah Jett right now, I'd want to keep that ball low in the zone to try and create a ground ball. This one turned on and launched high into the sky. It's going to stay in fair territory. Saunders gets over to it. They will tag Scalzo from third. A very solid relay in from left field, but Scalzo, again, that was just uh, perfectly played too deep to get the uh, ball in, so... An RBI on the sacrifice from DeCoco. Yeah, deep sack like that. You, all you have to do is hit your cutoff. You got bases loaded or at least a runner on third and second. You get a deep fly ball like that. Your best bet is just hit the cutoff. Now Zayden Ranson now back to the plate. And Jet has managed him the first two times. He popped up to Ash at shortstop in the first and then lined one on that tremendous defensive play in the third. Jets first pitch, low and away. Overcast skies here from the Shawnee Sports Complex. No wind as of right now. 1-0 pitch down the middle, ripped foul. I keep talking about this wind over here, but Playing ball in the valley, this close to the river, you just, the wind could be brutal. Wind could be very brutal. And it has a lot of effect on fly balls. It's like we had a Carter Kinder in center field. That ball just kept traveling and traveling. He set up a couple times, but just could not get it. 1-1, one, one. that one gets away and pops out of the glove of Cumston, and that will advance Blades to third and Jarvis to second, so... 
Just uh, little things here and there that takes away the force out at any base and takes away the double play opportunity for Roan County. Two and one, the count to Ranson. This is when you just step off and give yourself a breather here. I'm going to try and limit the damage. 2 1 pitch low and away. Good stab behind the plate again from Cumston. 3 and 1. Jet delivers down the middle, ripped towards the shortstop. Will it be three for three for Ash? It will. Cam with the arm strength, but that will score another run as Blades comes in from third. Jarvis will move to third. And the two runs that Rome County got in the top half of this inning have been taken back by some very good hitting and sacrifice opportunities. Back-to-back -back sack RBIs. They have just been hitting strikes so far. And the first pitch to Jeff Reynolds in there for called strike. Two outs now with the runner on third. Reynolds grounded out to Nate Martin at first in the second, then was walked, stole a base, and scored in the third. Jet missing upstairs. 1-1 one, one the count. Rome County's faced a couple good hitting teams these last couple games, this game and Ravenswood. Jet missing upstairs, snap throw down to second, or down to third, sorry. I'll get my bases right one of these days. It's not as if I've played and followed baseball for 45 years or something. Yeah, we're both both a couple. <laughs> we're a little discombobulated tonight. We're all hungry. Two yeah. and one the count. Low and away, and three and one it is to Jeff Reynolds. Cold spot sounds pretty good right now. They've got some tremendous wings, I know that. Maybe we can get delivery. DoorDash to the press box. This one jamming Reynolds in foul territory, and Cumston comes out from the crouch up the line at third, making the grab for out number three. A couple taken from Rome County in the top and given back in the bottom. It is 6-2 after four complete here in Charleston, West Virginia. In the 2024 circuit judge election, what are you looking for in a candidate? I want someone who has experience in a courtroom. We need someone who's hardworking. It's important to me to have someone who is fair and treats everyone the same. Who are you voting for in the 2024 circuit judge race? Josh Downey. I'm voting for Josh Downey. I'm voting for Josh Downey. Paid for by the committee to elect Josh Downey, Aaron M. Nichols Treasurer. Hey, are you serious? I like a good laugh. I bet you do too. Which is why I say, if all those insurance companies want to spend a gazillion dollars on funny TV ads, go right ahead. As long as it's not my money that's paying for it. Here's how you get seriously good auto, home, business, or life insurance. Go to Erie Insurance. With Erie, a great price is just the start. You get unbelievable service, independent agents you can really trust, and superior products like Erie Rate Lock. You hear that? Rate Lock. Name says it all. For car insurance, it can't be beat. But hey, don't just take it from me. See for yourself why more than 90% of Erie customers stay with them year after year after year. Seriously. Your Erie Insurance Agent in Spencer is the Kirby Insurance Agency. Get a quote at 927-2544. That's 927-2544. Or visit kirbyinsurance.com. We have played four complete here from the Shawnee Sports Complex. Rome County was down 4-0 going into the top of the fourth. Put two on the board with back-to-back -back RBI doubles. One from Cam Cumston, one from Cam Ash. But the Irish manufacturing on a couple of sack RBIs, the two runs back in the bottom half. Two runs on one hit. No errors and one left on. And after four complete, it is 6-2 Irish. As Rome County will bring seven, eight, and nine to the plates. It'll be Jeb Painter, Carson Casto, and Gage Saunders leading it off in the top half of inning number five. 
These three, their only other plate appearance, came back in the third inning, and Alara struck out the side. Painter getting a piece of the first offering. Some more lefty on lefty action here. It's like I said before, it is a rare sight in West Virginia high school baseball. Beautiful pitch on the next offering. That slurve, if you want to call it that, goes from shoulder left to the right side down at the knees. It's a disgusting pitch. Zero and two, the count. Another breaking ball. Great piece of hitting. Chopped right back to Alaire, though. And he'll make the play over at first. That's about all you can really do with that pitch. Carson Casto struck out looking in the third. Casto, just a freshman. A lot of upside to this young man. I know they are excited about him here as a baseball player. I know speaking with Coach Paul Burdett, he said, I can't wait to see this young man develop for next year as a sophomore for the Rome County Raider football team. I'm happy to see this young man playing varsity baseball. Well, they are missing on the first two offerings. 2-0 two the count to Casto. I had helped coach middle school baseball last year, not really as a coach, but as a guy to come in and help. And it just makes me so happy to see these boys develop and get better. Well, they're missing on the first three opportunities here. Three and oh, the count. Casto will see if he's got the green light. He doesn't. And Lair finds the inside corner for strike one. Yes, Toby Ford, I've played since birth. That's two of us, Drew. Yes. Swing and a miss on the next offering. Took Full a healthy counts. cut on that one. I should have said, I was trying to make myself the same age as Toby. <laughs> 3-2 pitch called, strike on the outside corner. Allaire again, old Bob Ross painting the outside corner. Happy little trees and happy little clouds. And happy little strikeouts for Xander Allaire. That makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the ball game. Gage Saunders, one of those seven back in inning number three. Upstairs for ball one. I have played baseball since I was four. Called strike one, one and one the counts. Ever since we could pick up a one of those old red plastic bats. You remember those? Oh, yeah. Called that the Bam Bam Bat. <laughs> Two on the counts. Lair missing on that slurve, three and one. Top of the Roan County order awaits on deck. We're in the top of the fifth. And Saunders fouls back the three-one offering full count. Roan County again battling the six and zero oh and very good Charleston Catholic program. They're hanging in there, Drew. I mean, this is a this is a really good baseball game. Three-two pitch. Swing and a miss, and down goes Saunders. A 1-2-3, top of the inning for the Irish defense. 6-2 as Charleston Catholic headed to the plate in the bottom after this. Hungry? There's only one place to go to satisfy a hunger that big any time of the day or night. McDonald's in Spencer. Choose from the famous Big Mac, quarter pounder with cheese, add fries and sweet tea, and you've got a meal that can't be beat. Start your day off right with the best breakfast in town, McDonald's and Spencer. Egg McMuffin, sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit, hot cakes, sausage burrito, add a cup of premium coffee and a hash brown. Great prices every day, McDonald's and Spencer. I'm loving it, and so will you. McIntosh Hardware Furniture and Appliances has been servicing Spencer and the surrounding area for over 50 years. McIntosh carries the finest selection of products to bring you the best value for your purchases. 
We are a full line furniture, appliance, bedding, and hardware retailer. We proudly supply Amana, Frigidaire, Vaughn, Brown, Lazy Boy, Whirlpool, Brown, and Maytag products. Shop local and support local businesses who support local athletes. We offer what the big stores won't, sales, service, delivery, installation, and removal. Call 304-927-2700. Visit us on the web at macintosh.goretailer.com. Check out our Facebook page at Macintosh Hardware Furniture and Appliances or stop by and see us at 204 Market Street in downtown Spencer. Moving into the bottom of inning number 5, 6-2 the lead for the Charleston Catholic Irish. As the Raiders were sent packing 1-2-3 in the top half of the inning. Pair of strikeouts making 8 on the evening for Xander Allaire. And a ground out as well back to the pitcher, Alara. So for the second straight time, he is responsible for retiring all three of Roan County's 7-8-9 hitters. As we move into the bottom of the inning for Charleston Catholic, it will be 6-7-8 to the plate. Gage Tawney, Xander Alara, and Tyler Brown. Tawney, the first to the plate, reached on an error in the second inning. Was forced out at second, then had that deep shot to center field in the third with the sack RBI. Officially 0 for 2 at the plate tonight. Jet ready to go to work into his fifth inning. He has been a very solid pitcher here tonight. I was excited to see how he would do in our, my, my first view of him on the mound, and he is... Certainly not disappointed. Hasn't had to be overpowering. Is helped by his defense, and he has just found that outside corner. Living there nicely. One and one the count to Tawny. He is located real nice tonight. One one delivery. Ripped into the gap, though, between short and third. And the leadoff base hit for the center fielder, Gage Tawny. That's just one of those struggles as a pitcher. You're throwing strikes, but they're just hitting the ball. We'll bring up the pitcher, Alara. He reached on a fielder's choice in inning number two and scored a run. Had a single and was stranded at second in the end of the third inning. Irish have been relatively aggressive on the base pass. They're going to send Tawny first pitch, and that ball gets away. As Cumston was coming out of the crouch and pulling it out of the glove, it just came out of his hand. A little slippage. Tawny at second now. I was no catcher, but I know baseball, and that is probably one of the hardest things to do in the sport is to, as a catcher, throw down to second. Lair squaring to bunt now, looking to advance his teammate Tawny to better scoring position. 2-0 and the count. And this one missing up at the eyeballs. 3-0 and oh to Alara. Oh, two and one. Did we miss that first one? I'm not sure. It must have been a strike on the first pitch that Tawny went to second. So two and one instead. I do apologize. They get two and two outside corner. Caught that corner. He's just been living there all night, not getting the calls, but when he does, it's a beautiful pitch. He and Alara both have really worked that outside corner to the right-handed batter as well. Count even at two apiece. Conservative lead by Tawny, and now he's going to take off quickly. This one ripped at the second baseman. Green will take it to first for out number one. That was a tremendous jump as Tawny, as soon as Jet turned his head, took off. I'm not sure if that was a hit and run or not, but I don't think it was. That was just beautiful base running. 4-3 put outs. One out now with Tawny at third and Tyler Brown back to the batter's box. Hit by pitch and scored in the second. 
Put out 6-3 in the third, and this time he'll take one off of the hind leg. A couple of hit batters here. Tyler Brown has been hit twice. Now first and third. And we will not have Scalzo this time, the DH. It will be Brammer, the right fielder, batting in his own position. Umpire coming out behind home plate. Not really sure what that was about. Just want to take a nice leisurely stroll here. Maybe. He was pointing it's fingers. Nice I'm not evening. Real sure. It is a nice inning, though. Nice evening. Great place to walk around here. Not as hot as it was when we got here. Brammer squaring to bunts. Backs off. And I'm not even sure if Cam Cumston looked at second base as Brown headed there. <laughs> second and third now. I think what the umpire was doing is he was telling Coach Buddy Huffman that they are not DHing for 17. 1 0 pitch. Well. That's where the height hurts, Brammer. <laughs> that was a belt high <laughs> fastball that would have been at the eyeballs of others. Yeah. One and one the count. Noah Jett working that outside. So like I said, he's done it all night. He's been locating it outside really well. Oh, this one missing inside, and Jett has hit his second straight batter in the inning, and he will load the bases. And let's go back. He has got one, oh, two. Man. Four hit batters in this ball game. And you can see the frustration because he's pitching pretty darn well here today. A good batting, of course, by a good team that's very good on offense. But just a couple of those pitches have gotten out of his hand. Now assistant coach Larry Ash is going to come out and have a conversation with he and the infield. This could be a strategy session, or it could be the end of the night for Jet. We'll wait and see. Base is loaded again with two outs. You've got a force out at any base, looking maybe at home for the first and third baseman, or you know, home for the third baseman. Middle infielders will play in that mid-depth probably. Yeah, you got one out and the base is loaded. You really want to try and get that out at home. You try and, try and roll a double play. You know, don't know the percentage on how well that works out. But you really want to try and limit the damage. You want to get that first out at home and possibly get that out at first. Meeting at the mound is over. Everybody's got their orders for the cold spot after the game. Bases juiced here. Top of the order in Luke Blades. One for two. Looking on that inside corner to the left-hander, just missing. Blades lined out to center field in the first. RBI on a walk in the second. Doubled and scored in the fourth. Just got the word that that was Noah Jett's 96th pitch. This is probably his last batter. 97 is upstairs. 2-0 and oh the count. The pitch count down. Hopefully he does something with this last batter. Comes with the 2-0. That one missing upstairs. He's still locating well. He's just, I mean, it's not the umpire's fault. They are a little outside and inside, but he has located fairly decent tonight. He's throwing a lot of pitches here, but he has kept the majority of the control of them. That one finds the mark, and Jet with a lot of fight in him. Young man's got a lot of heart. Yes, he does. Three and one the counts. And he's got new teeth, by the way. <laughs> Took one off the mouth last year. Lost his two fronts. Got a new grill. This one turned on. That one ripped high and deep into the gap. That is going to drop in at the base of the fence. One run will score. Two runs will score. They're going to wave Brammer around. Here comes the play. And sliding in safely. At third is Blades with a bases clearing triple. Three RBIs. That was ripped. That was a good piece of hitting right there. Not ideal for our boys, but that was a good piece of hitting. 
Though a jet looks like he is done for this evening. All right, you can see Coach Buddy Huffman. Yep. He is uh, yes. he's pumping up his young yeah. man because yes, he is. you're facing a team that scores an average of double figures yeah. on the season. They're undefeated. They're obviously very good at the plate. And Jet hung in there with that undefeated team for five, almost five full innings. And we will have a pitching change. We'll talk about it, and we'll check the defensive changes as well. We're in the bottom of the fifth, 9-2 the lead for the Irish. Hey guys, got dirty clothes? Come to Miller Suds and Sales and wash your clothes in style at our brand new laundry mat with state-of-the-art machines. Located around the corner from Miller Steals and Deals. Shop while you wash, seven days a week, eight to eight. I'm Corey Grog. I'm a women's health and family nurse practitioner with Minnie Hamilton Health System, Glenville office. I'm a Glenville girl, born and raised. That's why I'm so excited to announce the opening of our women and maternal care services in Glenville. This will allow women to get prenatal care close to home and still deliver at their choice of hospital. We've also hired Kayla Stewart as our patient navigator. She will be offering childbirth education classes, lactation support for breastfeeding moms, and postpartum care and support for when mom and baby come home. Along with pre- and postnatal care, our mini Hamilton team sees patients from birth throughout the lifespan. We are your partner in health today, tomorrow, and for life. Please call the Glenville office for more information at 304-462-7322. You've changed thousands of diapers, cut off hundreds of crusts, played hours of peekaboo and duck duck goose because you'd do anything for your kids. That's why it's so important to protect them with life insurance from State Farm. State Farm agent Norman L. Daniels will help make it easy and affordable to help you protect your family, no matter what the future holds. Because for the people you'd do anything for, life insurance could mean everything. Call State Farm agent Norman L. Daniels and Spencer at 304-927-5680 today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Welcome you back to the Shawnee Sports Complex, bottom of the fifth inning as the night for Noah Jett on the mound is complete, officially 100 on the dot. He threw 100 pitches here in this ball game. Four and one-third innings of work, faced 28 batters, one strikeout, four walks, four hit batters, seven base hits, nine earned runs here tonight. And you look at that, Cole, and you say, oh, that was bad, but it wasn't the way he was controlling the outside corner the way he wasn't over uh, trying to overpower uh, batters. He was just throwing some good pitches, keeping them on the outside and uh, letting his defense work behind him. But again, this is a great team offensively in the Irish and they are able to take advantage of little miscues, little mistakes that you may have walks hit batters, put base runners aboard. And once that happens, the Irish swing the bats well too. And they've got some extra base hits here. You know, we've all had games like this where you just get hit off of. And if I had one thing to say to Noah Jett is that he needs to keep his head up high because he pitched well tonight. Well, Coach Buddy Huffman telling him that as he was coming off. So it's Carter Kinder coming from center. Jett will be back at first. Nate Martin moves from first to third. And Jacob Greathouse moves from third to the outfield in center. And again, this will be my first chance to take a look at Carter Kinder on the mound. He'll face Connor Jarvis. Boy, what a guy to have to face right now. Two for two, two RBIs, two doubles. This one popped up in foul territory, and that one will get out of play. One and one the counts. No fans near that pop foul. No banana ball on that one. That would be fun to watch live. Try so, to get tickets yeah. for the trip. Our, our buddy Swolby here who is running the software. But it was a no can do. Boy, this one high and tight. They've got the runner off the, the third, though. The throw home, though, not in time. The throw down. Trying to get Blades, who they got in a rundown, by the way, in the second inning. 
Got him at home that time. The throw down, he did not go back to the bag at all. As soon as that throw went out of the hand of Kempston's glove, Blades took off as fast as he could. And Martin got it back to Kempston, but the tag underneath. That was just some aggressive base running right there. Absolutely. Following that, this one popped up over in foul territory. Jet giving chase, and Noah Jet makes a play. And foul territory for outs number two. It's like my dad always said, if you can't produce at the plate or on the mound, you produce on the infield. This is baseball. You can't, if you can't do it at the plate or if you can't do it on the mound, you got to do it on the infield, in the field. Two outs with the bases empty as the shortstop to Coco steps to the plate. Coco officially 0 for 2, was hit by a pitch in the second and had a sack RBI in that fourth inning. Pitch missing inside, 2 and 0 the count. Kinder throwing them inside on them. Well, breaking pitch that time stayed up in the zone. 3-0 count. It's the second batter for Kinder. 3-0 pitch, high and tight. It's very hard coming in the pitch, coming straight out of the field as a reliever. You know, high school ball, you don't have – you know, your guys on the bench aren't normally POs, and you're coming out of the outfield or the infield, and you're coming in, called in to pitch. It's it's hard to warm up. Yeah, you get just you gotta, so many yeah. before you got to get going. So runner at first with two outs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And the lead is now 8-10-2 for the Irish. You always got to give yourself a few batters on the mound coming in relief. The catcher, cleanup hitter, Ranson. Snap throw down to first by Cumston. Keeping tabs over there on to Coco. 1-0 the count. This one missing low as well. Gets away from Cumston, but he'll retrieve it quickly. As the Coco stays at first. Thompson, just a wall back there. Really hustled well. And again, all of those little one hoppers to the catcher, they're hard enough, but you get it on some turf. Those things take some squirrely bounces, and he has had the vast majority of those in the mitt. Sometimes you get first hop on turf. Ooh. Usually it gets quicker. 3 0 pitch, missing low, and Ranson walks on four pitches. Back-to-back, four-pitch walks to Coco and Ranson. Well, there are two outs, but now you start to get that. Think You start to think about it, Cole. Z Zach Ranson, or, or Zayden Ranson, sorry. Well, he won't be the one. Ranson, though, representing as Cole Tawney will come in to run for him. Tawney now represents the potential winning run here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And Jeff Reynolds coming to the plate. Kinder missing inside. It's like I said before, coming in relief, you're coming out of the field, you got to give yourself a couple batters. 2-0 the count now to Reynolds. Tawny in the on-deck circle got things started with the leadoff single, ended up scoring the first run in this inning. Uh, well, this one's going to get through the wickets, and the runners will advance, and the Raiders in a bit of a quandary, if you will. The tying run, or the winning run now, out at second base. That takes away the force out here with two outs in the inning. A quandary? I don't think I've ever heard I of I don't know if a quandary is de technically what I'm looking for. I was going to say pickle. A pickle. There yeah, you go. you got to dumb it down for me. 
This one missing low, and Kinder has missed the strike zone on his last 12 straight pitches. Bases now are loaded. But again, what that does do is it springs back the force outs. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Kinder going to try to find the strike zone here and try to keep it low in the zone to Tawny. And that's a good start as he puts one on the inside corner for strike one. Kinder getting ahead in the count. Zero and one. The pitch missing upstairs. One and one the counts. How was Kinder? I'd really try to get this ball low in the zone. He will on the second on the third pitch, but a little too low. And the count moves to two and one. Lights starting to shine down here at the Shawnee Sports Complex. Two one pitch fouled off two and two. Really wants to get this strike out or even create a ground ball right here. Want to limit the damage. Breaking pitch called Woo! strike three as it drops down in the inside of the zone. And Kinder closes the door before the game ends. 10 to the score, though, as we move to the top of the six, Rome County down eight. Time has just changed. Are you ready for a change? Old Fences Realty can help with that. I'm Mike Greenlee, the broker, and I've helped thousands of people make a change in latitude. If you're thinking about selling, just give our office a call, and one of our professional, friendly agents will be there right away. We don't just put it on Facebook and hope it sells. We use technology to reach all over the world. We have well-qualified buyers waiting for your home. Old Fences Realty can even help find you a great agent wherever you're moving. So call us right away. Want to look good and feel good? Then stop by and see John Penna at Penna's Barbershop in Spencer on Main Street. Want a guaranteed spot? You can set up an appointment, but if time is not an option, walk-ins are always welcome. Traditional haircuts, no problem. Tapers, high and tight, flat tops, and beard trims. Or if you're looking for something new, he can do that too. Custom designs, burst fades, and mullets. That's right, West Virginia Waterfall. Keeping you styling and profiling. Penis Barbershop has been a proud supporter of Roan County and Raider Athletics since 2009. Penis Barbershop on Main Street and Spencer. Stop in, call, or text at 304-531-4218. Bit of a tough half inning for Roan County defensively. Four runs on the board. We saw the starting pitcher for Roan County, Noah Jets, check out after throwing a very solid ball game in his own right. Kinder checking in for him. Four runs on two hits, no errors, three left on, and we move to the top of the sixth inning. Roan County needing some runs. And what a way to start it off here. Top of the order with now the pitcher, Carter Kinder. Struck out swinging in the first. Hit by a pitch in the fourth. Took second on a errant throw over by pitcher Xander Alera. Ended up scoring the first run of the game on that Cam Cumston RBI double. And Kinder fouling the first one back. Lara now kind of rolling that shoulder a bit, trying to stay loose, stay warm. Sometimes that's difficult to do, Cole. Long inning defensively for Roan County. But on the other side, the pitcher has to wait. Yeah, sometimes... You know, you're in these games as a pitcher, and you just get that mentality where you want to go out there and pitch. And, you know, not bashing your boys, but you just want to hurry up and get the inning over so you can go out there and work again. <laughs> well, there's a good shot here for Kinder. That's going to get into the gap. Kinder with the wheels heading to second. Are they going to send him around? Yes, they will. They did. Here comes the throw from DeCoco. It's low and away. And Carter Kinder sliding in head first to third with the leadoff triple. 
man, I just love watching this kid play. He's just he, heart and soul into this game. Just an absolute 100% hustler. Yes. He just never quits. Got a motor on him. Down eight, and he is just hitting gaps, and he is rounding as many bases as he can. If he's up eight, down eight, or down 28, he's going to do the same thing. It's so, Roan County with Cam Cumston to the plate. Boy, look at that nasty drop curve. That thing was 12 to 6. That was almost clocked in as an ephus. That was <laughs> disgusting. This one ripped over to third, gets all over Reynolds, and that's going to break through. And Kinder trots home for the third run of the ball game. And third base on turf, you almost just have to Stand there and take it to the chest. I mean, and do the best you possibly can yeah. with that one, and that took a terrible hop. It took a, you know, it got that nasty spin on that ball. It just, even though it's turf, it'll go anywhere. Second RBI of the ball game for Cumston on the, I'm giving it an unofficial single. I'm, I'm nice. Yeah, I'd give it to him. Yeah, I played on turf before. I know how difficult that play was. <laughs> Roan County now with... Five base hits in the game. That's also another thing on turf. A third baseman playing back on grass fields, you have to play up. Cam Ash into the batter's box with a 1-0 count quickly as Alara checking on Cumpson over there at first. Missing inside to Ash. Well, Cumston did his part in the fourth and does it again here in the sixth. We'll see if Ash can do it. He backed up that RBI double with one of his own in the fourth. Alaire keeping an eye on Cumston. This one turned on. Poked foul. Nice play, Buddy Huffman. Ooh. Get that man an award. Two and one, the counts. Huffman showing the range in the third base box. Two one pitch, Ooh, swung on and missed. Ash wanted all of that one. Two and two. My mind just told me to watch that ball fly. Beautiful swing. 2-2 two -two pitch, that Fair one win. turned on and ripped high to the night sky in the gap in left center field. It'll drop in again. And heading around to third is Cumston and back-to-back -back doubles for Cam Ash. My mind was not playing tricks on me. I, I, I foresaw the future, Drew. It's <laughs> official. Well, Cam Ash, as well as he has played defensively right now, is now three for three with two doubles and an RBI. And Roan County continues this top of the sixth inning. Runners at second and third, nobody outs. An opportunity to try to make a run at it here in the sixth. Meeting at the mound with the infield. Drew, our boys played. I think they're playing great this evening. They are playing I mean, some inspired baseball. Yes, I will say are. that. The top of the lineup's doing work. Uh, Noah Jett, like I said, pitched great. You know, he located he located well. Uh, he had a few hiccups there, but that's baseball. You know, he had pitched well, and the top of our lineup is doing work. Well, Jett is ready to go here as soon as this meeting concludes at the pitcher's mound, as it does. Now Jett's 0 for 2 so far here. Struck out swinging in the second inning. Swung at all three pitches he saw. And then in the fourth, popped out in foul territory to Reynolds over at third. Noah Jett looking to bring in some runs right here. As we mentioned his first couple plate appearances. He has produced some RBIs early in this season for Rome County. Allaire missing the first one. Going right back at it here for the seconds. And that one rides inside. Two and oh, the counts. So a Jets looking for that ball to hit. And you'll see this one high in the night sky, first base area. 
as it was Brown for a second, but Blades calls him off. And Luke Blades with the putouts for the first out of the inning. It's like I said, if I if I see this kid at the end of the game, I'm going to tell him keep his head up high because he pitched very great this evening. That will bring Preston Green to the plate, hit it twice, popped out to left in that foul territory play by Jarvis. A little banana ball. This one up high oh. and into the concourse right directly in front of us. Green also popped out to, to Coco at shortstop, so 0 for 2 with a pair of pop-outs so far. Almost bounced into the press box. Could have put a stuck a hand out and snagged it. Oh, one pitch finds the mark on the outside corner. Green disagrees with the body language. I think that pitch might have been a little too low. Zero. For his liking. <laughs> Zero and two. Protect the plate time. This one rides on the inside corner, and that slurve is nasty. Green goes down looking for the second out of the inning. Tricked up Green. It's it's hard to judge when you're in the batter's box. You know, we got this view from up here, and we saw that that pitch was disgusting. I mean, it started off over the plate, and then once it got back to the catcher, it snuck back in. Jacob Greathouse steps in, takes a healthy hack at that first offering. Greathouse 0 for 2, struck out in the second, and then popped out to Jarvis in left field in the fourth. Swings a little early on the off speed. Oh, and two, the counts. Well, that meeting at the mound after Roan County put a run on the board has done something to Alara, and he is going to strike out back-to-back -back batters. Later, the Raiders get one, and after five and a half innings, they trail the Irish 10-3. to three. Thrive with five at the best community bank in the Canal Valley, Boca Valley Bay. Boca Valley Bank is now offering a certificate of deposit special, 10-month APY, annual percentage yield 5%. Take advantage of this great rate to grow your savings. For more information, stop by a Boca Valley Bank location today or call 844-782-2651. Boca Valley Bank, where relationships matter. Certain terms and conditions apply. Rates based on minimum annual percentage yield, subject to change without notice. Minimum deposit required of $10,000 of new money not currently on deposit with Boca Valley Bank to receive APY. Member FDIC. Joint pain and orthopedic injury shouldn't prevent you from doing the things you love. At Roan General Hospital, we have an orthopedic team that boasts decades of combined experience diagnosing, treating, and surgically repairing a full range of orthopedic conditions. Our experts help you regain mobility so that you can live life in full stride. Schedule an orthopedic consultation today. Roan General Hospital, care you can trust, close to home. Moving into the bottom of inning number six, Rome County gets one back. Pair of base hits, including a leadoff triple by the new pitcher, Carter Kinder, scoring on the RBI single from Cam Cumston. That backed up by a gap shot double by Cam Ash, but a layer in the defense at that point, shutting Rome County down. The next three batters, a pop fly and a pair of strikeouts. One run, two hits, no errors, and two left aboard for the Raiders. And Kinder getting a little more time here to warm up that arm just a little more. We're going to see 7 8 9 to begin this inning. Alara, Brown, and well, it'll either be Scalzer or Brammer. It'll be Brammer. That's right. Brammer came in the last time, didn't he? I've got softball on the so, brain right yeah. now. <laughs> a ton of bunch of softball games recently where you can just. I don't know what it is. You can put them in, take them out, whatever. I I don't know. It confuses me. I mean, I get the I get the basics, you know, the baseball and softball. They <laughs> kind of got the same name, but that's about all I know about There the are some healthy differences in they the are. rules. Alara will step in first, one for three with the run scored here today. First pitch from Kendra. Ooh, that one goes right off of the hip. Ouch. Well, Roan County has been good for the majority on the mound, but they have hit a ton of batters here. That's the fifth plunk of an Irish batter. It's just, you'll have those days, Drew. There's some days where your pitchers decide, not meaning to, but hitting a bunch of batters. 
That will bring up Tyler Brown from the left side of the plate. First pitch missing away. It's been a great evening. No rain, overcast, not too hot, not too cold. Just a beautiful facility here. We get yes, to be in the is. press box high above the field. I know. Swing and a miss at the next offering. I feel special being up in here. I feel like a true broadcaster. I thank the staff here. Thank Mr. Lanham for helping us out earlier, getting our stuff and our information for us. And keeping us up to date on pitch counts. I'll send the runner down. The throw a little bit wide left and not in time. Two and one, the counts. Did we get a pinch runner for a lair? Joey Buco, the pinch runner. I knew that wasn't a lair, but I just wasn't sure who it was. So Buco, the pinch runner, out at second now with a 2-1 count. Now Brown squared to bunt, went after that one. Small ball tactics employed here by the Irish. Just looking to get those runners closer to home. Two two breaking pitch nasty, swing and a miss for out number one. Beautiful pitch, beautiful comeback pitch. Needed that strikeout. Rammer, who came in to bat in the fifth inning, was hit promptly. Speaking of hit batters, and ooh, enter. <laughs> Almost went at it again. They're going to oh. send Buco down, and he is not going to get it. Got him. <laughs> and so he said, why not have a little fun with it if I'm going to be put out? <laughs> There's a little Nelson Cruz action right there. I'm surprised he didn't start running up the foul line there. So Cumston again, another big play behind the plates. This one rides inside on Brammer again. Two and O oh the counts, but now the base is emptied. So proud of that kid behind the plate, just able to adapt to the position. I mean, most catchers you see, they've caught their whole life through Little League up and Cam Comston filling a big role. Kender missing on the outside corner this pitch. 3-0, and oh, top of the order in the on-deck circle. And the second baseman, Luke Blades. We're in the bottom of the sixth. Roan County would like to get out of this with no damage. And they will still need seven in the top of the seventh inning to tie and possibly extend. Kinder finds the mark on the 3-0 count. Three zero, three one pitch hit hard over at Martin. He'll knock it down, but just couldn't pull it back just up. Could not. It was the third base side. Got a hot shot to the third base side and kept it from entering the outfield and letting that runner get a double out of that. That's, Again, that's the job. Uh, that's just the second error of the game for Roan County. It tells you that it's not the errors or the defense not doing their job. It's just uh, the Irish hitting the ball well. And, again, they average double-figure scoring. They're just good. Like, uh, just like I said, this is a strong team. I'm very proud of these boys. Blade squares to bunts. May have gotten in the eyesight of Cumston, and that one gets away. Kinder sh smacks himself on the chest, said, that was my bad, buddy. Yeah, you laying down a bunt as a batter, that's your job is to try and get your bat in the eyes of the catcher. 1-0 count to Blades. Did his job and moved up the runner by a pass ball. This one bunted, foul over the third base area. Count even at 1-1. One and one. Two outs, runner on second. Kinder trying to limit the damage so Roan County can get back up to the plate and try and produce some runs, maybe even a miracle comeback. This one swung on, ripped foul into the night sky. That one will go out of play. 
That one launched up in the air, got above the lights, disappeared, and come back into foul territory. A foul ball makes it one and two to Blades. Well, if it is to be a miracle comeback, it'll be a 7-8-9 to start the top of the seventh. One, two pitch, breaking ball, missing low. This is baseball, Drew. That's why every baseball movie they make is a <laughs> wonderful comeback story. That is the name of the game. Two, two pitch, turned on, ripped over the head of Jet into the outfield. That's going to score the runner from second. It's just another great piece of hitting by Charleston Catholic. That's how you produce runs, hits. RBI single for Luke Blades. And the lead back out to eight at 11-3. That'll bring Connor Jarvis to the plates. He'll send the runner a little sack bunt opportunity. That one, though, trickles foul. Jarvis has been good at the plate, good in the field. He's two for three officially. A pair of doubles, two RBIs, a walk. Pierce Catholic is trying to work on their bunting. Just a, just a great ball club. I'll send the runner. This one popped up and out of play. <laughs> Blades is like, man, I'm getting tired here. Back and <laughs> forth he goes. 0-2 oh to Jarvis. Get his uh, running in for He's the got day. his steps in. Got his steps in. Got the pedometer hanging off the belt. The Garmin. 0 oh, 2 pitch, breaking ball over at third, fielded wow. by Martin across the Got diamond. Him. What a play. Beautiful play. Martin gloves it over near shortstop and fires across for out number three. One across. Rome County needs eight to extend in the top of the inning. Ridge Top Rentals, located at 3502 Clay Road in Spencer, West Virginia, is the place to go for all your equipment needs. We have tractors, dozers, backhoes, excavators, ceramites, air compressors, straw blowers, generators, jackhammers, torpedo heaters, and much more. We are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. You can check us out on the web at ridgetoprentals.machinerytrader.com, follow us on Facebook at Ridge Top Rentals LLC, or you can call us today at 304 908 20 Zero four or three zero four nine two seven one four one eight. Ridge Top Rentals is a proud supporter of all Roan County athletics. Let's go Raiders! Spring into action with Roan Self Storage. Are you feeling overwhelmed by the clutter that winter left behind? It's time for a fresh start with spring cleaning. And where better to store your treasures than Roan Self Storage? As you refresh your home and clear out those closets, remember Roan Self Storage is here to keep your belongings safe and secure. With a variety of unit sizes and 24-7 access, you could store with confidence. Not sure where to start? Here are some spring storage ideas. Seasonal gear. Store your winter clothes, skis, and snowboards to make room for summer fun. Holiday decor. Keep your festive decorations in perfect condition for next year. Sports equipment. Make space in your garage by storing bikes, helmets, and more. Ready to make more room for spring? Call us now at 304-421-3091 or visit us at RhoneSelfStorage.com and let Roan Self Storage help you clear the way for a beautiful season ahead. We have played six full innings from the Shawnee Sports Complex. The undefeated Irish from Charleston Catholic High School leading Rome County 11-3. to Irish were able to place one run across in the bottom of the six. One hit, one air, one left on. Tremendous play, though, at the end of that half inning by the third baseman, Nate Martin, to finish off the inning. Raider defense has been solid behind the pitchers and limiting damage, but Rome County here in the top of seventh going to need Eight runs and a miracle here if they are to come back in this one. See a new pitcher and a new side arm. It will be Jackson Kimball coming in to try to close it out here for the Irish. Kimball, a sophomore as well. Very nice outing 
for the other sophomore, Xander Alera. Check his final stats here pretty soon. One thing I do know is he he gave uh, Roan County 10 Ks on the night, double-figure strikeouts for Alera. Gave up five hits. Great outing for that young man. So he'll give way to Kimball. And Roan County will see six or seven, eight, nine coming to the plate. And Alara was not nice to the bottom of our order tonight. He struck out five of the six in the two innings they saw him. Struck out all three in the third, struck out two of the three, and then had a ground out back to him in the fifth inning. Jeb Painter will lead it off for Roan County. This one chopped right in front of home plate. Ranson calls off Kimball. Look at that wow. throw. Wow. That was a fantastic throw. A little, little bit of a Jeter-looking throw right there. The hair flowing and everything. The luscious locks. He's got to condition that thing, right? Oh, yeah. Definitely yeah. uses conditioner. Casto steps in now. This would be a head and shoulders commercial first pitch off speed Casto out in front with the swing one and two the counts or Owen oh won the counts gosh I'm struggling oh and two Man, it's hard to face sidearm pitchers you can hardly ever see them and that was a three-pitch, three-swing strikeout issued to Casto. Two up, two down in the top of the seventh. Gage Saunders representing Roan County's last hope to continue. Hoping to keep this inning alive. First pitch fouled back out of play. If we are able to get to the top of the order, that is where the damage has been done. Kinder with a triple, pair of doubles for Cam Ash, a double for Cumston. One and one the count. Two, oh, and two the count. Do not <laughs> listen to me over there. Whoever, do not listen to me right now. I think that. Now it's one and two. Now it's one and two. I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> right about the time the game ends. Yeah. Hopefully Saunders keep this game alive. One, two pitch. Now oh. outside corner as it tailed back in with the sidearm delivery of Kimball. And down goes Saunders and down goes Rome County here tonight. I will say, though, the, the Raiders put up a battle and uh, they can hold their heads high against this undefeated and very talented Charleston Catholic team. 11 3, your final score. We'll break away for our sponsors. We will come back, recap, have your statistics, and your Willard see start your auto parts players of the game after these messages. Come into Stats Pharmacy where our patient's good health is our main concern. We have a drive through window where you can conveniently drop off and pick up your prescriptions and over-the-counter medications. Refill your prescriptions anytime online at www.statspharmacy.com or from your iPhone or Android phone using the Refill RX mobile app. No waiting in long lines. Just call ahead and your order will be waiting for you. We look forward to serving you at Stats Pharmacy located at 100 East Main Street in Spencer. You can call us at 304-927-2980. I'm Circuit Judge Anita Harold Ashley, and I'm proud to sponsor this ad supporting the Roan County Raiders. I've spent a lot of time participating in sporting events in my lifetime as a player, a Raider parent, and a fan. I've observed there are lots of ways people enjoy the games. It might be like my dad, who quietly studied the game to catch stats, or my dear mom, who gained a reputation for yelling at the refs. Or the fan may be there primarily to enjoy the band or the cheerleaders. But it's clear, we're all rooting for the Raiders. Let's win. Paid for by the committee to re-elect Judge Anita Harold Ashley, Kate J. Burbank, Treasurer. Hi, I'm Ben Ashley of Ashley Insurance, where we're building a community of great insurance products and great people. 
What does that mean? Well, as a client of ours, you'll enjoy perks like quick quotes and personalized policies. We shop for the best prices across multiple companies. And most importantly, if something bad happens, you call our team and speak directly with us. So join our insurance community today. Call 304-927-2175 or visit ashleyinsurers.com. You work hard for your money, and lately the cost of everything has soared, making some of those dreams and goals even harder to reach. And at Board to Pew Realty, we realize that. We understand that buying a house can be financially stressful, especially with all the hurdles lenders require. That's where we come in. With our small staff of four, we offer you over 100 years of combined experience. We work as a group to get you close and in your home quickly. We'll find creative ways when others may have given up to make your dream a reality. But most importantly, we remain your friend after the sale is complete. We'll continue to help you long after the deal is closed. And that is what we take pride in. It's more than just a job to us at Board to Pew Realty. It's a job that we love, and we love the people who allow us into their lives. Buying or selling a home can be stressful, but not if you let Board to Pew guide you. You work hard for your money, and how you spend it matters. Hello, huh? Let me for Depew Realty, serving you since nineteen fifty eight, three oh four nine two seven thirty two fifty. Once again, this message comes to you courtesy of Brandon Dental Associates, located on Hospital Drive in Spencer, West Virginia. Traditionally, February is known as Children's Dental Health Month, and the focus is the prevention of dental disease in children of all ages. Good oral health begins at home through daily brushing, proper nutrition, and regular professional preventive dental care. Your baby's first dental visit should be no later than age one. Call Brandon Dental at 304-927-2775 to schedule your child's preventive care visit. That's Brandon Dental, 304-927-2775. We welcome you back to the Shawnee Sports Complex here in Charleston, West Virginia. Final score, Roan County came to battle Goliath, and David gave him some uh, some socks here and there. And uh, in the end, though, this really good undefeated Charleston Catholic team proving that they are worth their weight. 11-3 to is your final score. I thought, though, Cole, uh, number one, Noah Jett. This was our first time seeing him on the mound, and I thought that he – puts up a really good battle here tonight against a great offense. Oh, yeah, he pitched great. I mean, he located well. Like I said, he had he had those couple innings where he had the bases loaded and had to get out of a jam. Uh, Coach Ash come in and calmed him down, and he worked his way out of it. You know, they our pitchers really, they kept 
the deficit low. You know, I'm very proud of these boys, you know, offensively and defensively. Oh, you look at this, 22-6, 10-0, 12-3. They're beating teams like that. And so to be able to hang with them and go seven, that's a big deal. Yeah, it's a great game. It was a, it was a really good game to watch. Uh, even though we were down the whole game, uh, it was still a great baseball game to watch. It was uh, Charleston Catholic striking first in the bottom of the second inning. As they put three on the board, they added one more in the third. And then in the top of the fourth, Roan County got back-to-back -back RBI doubles by Cam Cumston and Cam Ash. Cut the deficit in the fourth inning to just four to two. And you had some life in you, and you thought, man. But the two runs get taken right back by some good hitting and some sacrifice RBIs in the bottom half of that fourth. And then it was the fifth inning where Roan County was blanked and Charleston Catholic went off in that fifth inning. Noah Jets was knocked out of the ball game in that inning as Carter Kinder came in in relief, worked the end of the fifth and into the sixth, gave up just one run. Roan County did get one back in the top of the sixth inning. But that was it as DeCoco gets the victory here tonight. He worked officially six of the seven innings, and he was good. Struck out ten batters. Gave up just, let's look at it, uh, two, three, four, five, six base hits. Scattering those amongst the six innings he worked. Three runs given up. And he did not walk a batter, amazingly, because he was you know, a little bit uh, here and there at times, but he just didn't walk anybody. He did hit one batter, but that was it. He was very solid in his performance. Yeah, I'm I'm a baseball guy, so I look at both teams. You know, of course, we're cheering for Roan County. But, you know, we come here and watch these baseball games, and it, it's just you're not rooting for both sides, but whenever the other side, that you know, their pitcher is just pounding the strike zone and having strikes, it's fun to watch. Yes. You know, it's very fun to watch. And, of course, like I said, you know, you want our boys to win every time. But when you're facing these teams that, like, you know, Charleston Catholic undefeated, you know, it it's fun to watch. It's it's baseball. Catholic with 11 runs on nine hits, just one error defensively for Roan County. They backed up their pitchers here tonight. Three runs on six hits for the Raiders, a couple of errors for the Irish defensively. Noah Jett takes the loss, went officially four and one-third innings of work. Did not have to be overpowering. Uh, faced 28 batters, struck out one, did walk four and hit four batters, uh, scattered seven hits, gave up 10 runs. Nine of those were earned. Kinder worked one and two-thirds innings, faced 10 batters, struck out two, walked three, gave up just one hit, one run, and it was not an earned run for Kinder. Offensively, it was all the top of the order for Roan County. The first three batters in the order had all six base hits. Carter Kinder goes one for two with a triple and two runs scored. Cam Cumston two for three, a pair of RBIs, a double and a run scored. And Cam Ash three for three with an RBI and two doubles in this one. Jet Green, Greathouse, Painter, Casto, and Saunders all zero for three. Here tonight, one final break to take for Willard C. Starcher Auto Parts. We'll come back. We'll wrap it up with a couple uh, Player of the Game Awards after this. My drug breaks won't work, and I can't get to work. So I call him Starcher, the best place for parts. They had what I needed, and the price out of the line. Now my truck's stopping quickly, and everything's all right. That's right. Willard Starchers has the parts that you need and the quality cell staff to help you get it fixed. Willard Starchers, the best place for parts and the best staff to help you. That's very important. Dial 927-2520. Open seven days a week. Willard Starchers. Final score here from the Shawnee Sports Complex, 11-3. As the victory for the Charleston Catholic Irish over Roan County, the Irish are continually undefeated at 7-0. Roan County now 2-5. and five. The Raiders put up a battle here tonight, though, in this loss to Charleston Catholic. Time now for our presentation of the offensive and defensive Willard C. Star Charter Parts players of the game.
Well, Drew, I think I'm going to have to give Cam Comston and Cam Ash both offensive and defensive. Uh, Cam Comston, two for three, two RBIs, double and scored a run, and he was a wall behind home plate. Uh, Only had a couple pass balls. One was real wild outside, and the other one just – the batter put this bat up to his eyes, and he just lost it. But he was great defensively behind the plate. And Cam Ash defensively. Cam Ash, two for three, RBI, two doubles, and four putouts in the field with that great stabbing, diving play he had over at short. I mean, it was a phenomenal play. So we got two offensive and two defensive players of the game, and they're both the same human beings. Yes. Amazing. They are. It was a it was an amazing game by these two boys. Well, congratulations to Cam Ash and Cam Cumston, our co-players of the game on both sides here tonight. That will do it for us tonight. We'll be back in action tomorrow. Lady Raider softball action as we will travel to Lewis County High School to face off against our sectional foe. In a contest, the scheduled first pitch for that one, 5 p.m. will be on the air with pregame coverage at about 4.50 p.m. We appreciate everyone joining us on our live streaming coverage of Roan County High School baseball action for all of us here at WVRC. Our good buddy Swoby keeping us going on OBS with the software and the graphics. My caller analyst, Cole Ellis, I'm Andrew Miller. 